Welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 5, Tribes of the East, Gotai Campaign to Honor Our Fathers, Mission 2, One Khan, One Clan. Mother Earth, lend me your voice. I must sway our people to follow Gotai. Let them gather around me to follow the new Khan, that your vision may come to pass. Oh, and Mother Earth, Forgive me for cheating with bones. The contest is won, and Gotai is now the chief of the Orcish army in his right. He is eager to take his rightful place as he is the head of the Horde. Make it to the Griffin Empire as an irrepressible avalanche and invade the academy. Even the fact that some of the clans of the Orc haven't yet heard the news about the new leader's appearance and sworn loyalty to him cannot stop Gotai. The delightful moment of revenge is so close. The Gotai has a loyal aide who will call on these chiefs and tell them who is their only leader now. Alrighty. So. chiefs to talk to. I must convince them to join Gotai without spilling blood. Mother Earth, guide me. Okay. So this is Kujin. Kujin is a shaman, an orc mystic, whose insights into the ways of Mother Earth and Father Sky give her access to powerful visions and magics. Beyond this, however, Kujin's natural intelligence and diplomo diplomacy have made her a respected leader as well. Tactful, wise, and learned, the orcs say that her sole default is a lack of a sense of humor, and her ability is Demon Hunter. If any demonic troops are present in combat, creatures in a hero's army gain a demonic rage more quickly. Starting off with this item, because what I can do is use that to have stronger fights, but on top of that, sell the item. Because you can start off with a shaman, but then you can sell this sword and buy more shaman. Because the shaman ain't that expensive. Now, one thing to note is this is my second time playing this map. This is the one map that has defeated me. It was suspected from my viewers that I was going to struggle, but they didn't say too much. And I won't tell you too much either, but basically I ran out of time is really what kind of happened. There's something that happens later on, and the way I played it, I was pretty careful, but I need to be even more careful than I was. And I'm probably going to do something very similar to what I did last time. Whereas when I got to the next base, I realized basically I'm aiming for Cyclopses. And there's a way to play it that I can sort of push Cyclopses harder. But I need to aim for the specific resources to reach that. So that's all I'll say on that front. And a bit of an advice from Tarkum was to basically use this character to do the level, not Kujin. Because we're aiming for... Oh, I could have picked that up. Actually, no, I can give that to him for experience. Unless I want to get gold. Maybe I want to get gold, actually. Because building up the base is really important. I didn't build up the base economy as quickly as I could. I thought I had to push to get the resources around. So I decided to get units focused more. But getting the units down can happen. But it doesn't have to happen too fast. You're almost worth waiting a week or two before you build up a bit of an army before you attack these. Because one thing you'll realize is all of these creeps are pretty rigged. A lot of them are ranged creeps. Most of them. And they'll give you a very hard time if you fight them too early. So you kind of need to like deliberately skip turns away. That's what I didn't really do the first time around. Greetings, Shaman Kujin. Mother Earth blesses us with your presence. Greetings, Great Chief Tulan. I have come to raise warriors for the new Khan. We have heard of Gotan. Good Khan. Goblin hunters speak well of him. We will follow. Father Sky blesses us. I have more tribes to see, but tonight we celebrate the coming of Gotai. We do. Good old Gotai. So yeah, this is the second base. You want to aim to this one not too quickly because something will happen, but you want to get there before a certain time. I I'm being so cryptic here, but I kind of have to be. Right. Let's head back to base and let's just push the economy as hard as possible. So that's going to be a marketplace to resource silo into... You know, bits and bobs. Whatever's going to push the monies. Where's the money? So you can't buy heroes. And yeah, we will do overclocked. In the distant future. He has a few units. So... 
we're going to go with the War Machines build, which isn't too complicated. And he can get there quicker because he's already got the War Machines. So you kind of just need Ballista into Flaming Arrows for the Ballista as the specialities and a fence. So I kind of need to get a bit lucky getting a fence and then getting the right abilities because yesterday when I did this, I kind of got a bit lucky at the start because I got a fence, but then I never got what I wanted after that, which was archery. <laughs> I mean, I did, but it took like seven, eight levels to get there. So it was one of those cases of I got off to a good start, but then there was a very, there was like nothing happening after that. So there's a fair bit of luck that is important. This is the one level that most people struggle with, and for good reason, because it's rigged. So he's our man, basically. If she wants to level, she can do that in future levels, but... For me, getting past this level specifically, this is the first level I'll have to take super seriously. And in order to do, the, to do that, I need to basically do it right. There's an ore pit to the right-hand side. But it's kind of hard to fight those, because again, they're quite tricky. But it's tempted to do it fast, because ore is definitely important for this. Ore, mercury, and crystal is what we want. Definitely want gems, though, to be used for building the Cyclops den. But I think one of the first things you want to do is come up and get the health buff. You'll find that this area is quite small, but you will be stuck here for some time because the creeps are so tough. First camp maybe should be these because I can kill those with practically no competition whatsoever. So lumber it is. It's a shame they don't join. You think I'll be hurting for gold if you go resource silo? Yeah, I, I said resource silo, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm really doing that. Whatever basically gets me the gold from the main base is what I'll be doing. Once we level up those war machines, we can start controlling the ballista. And it was going to start doing a ton of damage. Ah! I turned them to my side. I wonder why he went down. As soon as he went down, I realized what happened. And now they're me. So I get free goblins. Goblins is... You could probably rig that to get more, but... That will have to do for now. Second hero is just going to be there to gather resources. This map is insane. Yes, it's a very hard map. And it's the kind of map that probably gets a lot easier. If you've played it before and you know what you're doing. I've played it for a bit, but I didn't get too far. But knowing... I like that though. I mean, it's not very good for like when you try to stream. Because ideally I do these in one shot. But... As a sort of a template, I think that's kind of like the roguelike feel. It's like, oh, okay, so I've learned a few things. This is what I need to do different. I'll do this, I'll do that. And you theory craft a little bit and you work it out. So resource silo. Kind of feel like it pays for itself. 5,000 gold is a lot, but then again, it's 5,000 gold for this. Like the cheapest thing I can do is that. That's pretty reasonable. The garbage pile. Or the slums. But I feel like if I was going to do it, that's level 9. I've still got to buy like 4 things. So you got the blacksmith, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, that kind of thing, you know? Like if you're going to do it, you almost just do it. And I think I'm going to do it. 5,000 gold is a chunk, but at least I'm getting something for it. I'm getting mercury, which I can use later on. So we're going to save it and fight these guys. I want to basically fight them and lose like nothing. Basically every fight I want to be like as stingy as possible. I think if I use... They've got more, way more health, those ones. And Shaman. And try that. Haste up my uh, Centaurs. Do as much damage as we can to this guy. 
I don't know if you learned this from the previous stream, but it's necessary to get the brown town before Teal... Well, yeah, that's that's the spoiler. Before Teal attacks. You get multiple weeks worth of army to recruit all noble dwellings. And also there is an AI exploit that allows you to get the gold mine very early on with no losses. Oh, I don't know about that. You can do it with only three wyverns. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I know where to get the, get the wyverns. And then we can go back and get the gold mine. Which will pay off in its own due. Good. I don't think I lost a, lost a thing. For some reason the priests don't use firewall when you stay in the upper left corner. Wyverns have the regeneration passive and priests run out of shots. Okay. That is, uh, that's some pretty strong backseat, but yeah, that is smart. I'll give you credit for that. See, that, this is the kind... Oh, perfect. Right off the bat, we got... This is what didn't really happen yesterday. Well, it kind of did, but it didn't get the one... I didn't get the ballista stuff. I got, like, the offense stuff. Or, you know, it's just... Whatever, it didn't go quite how it... It didn't go as well as this. Already we're off to a better start. So this is the kind of map that you kind of need to... You either basically get lucky the first time you play it, or you're going to be playing it again. Especially, if you, well, I'm playing on heroic difficulty, so... So you need to have a few tricks up your sleeve. She's not really that important, and none of those abilities... See, she doesn't really get the abilities there. None of those abilities were what I was looking for. What do you mean you hated this map? I think this is a cool... You know, it's a cool thing if the map is, like, really challenging. I like that. Because it's like, right, how do I do this better? And then you just... You, you, you whittle away it, and you work a few little bits that sort of make it go much smoother for you. So I'm not sure if I can do this fight with losing nothing, but I'm going to try. So we've got our guys. I don't think they can shoot. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I think they won't, because they didn't last time. Done haste. Am I going to try the method or part of it? Yeah, sure. I was going to aim to go towards the health boost, which is close to where those rune priests are. I'll work my way up there, but I can always do the... I mean, I didn't unlock the shacks that you can recruit troops from too early yesterday. Could have done it earlier. Okay. Okay. We can leave this here, and then she can come down for that. It's not like the perfect. She's not going down as low as she could do, but it will have to do. If I put haste... Yeah, but if I... No, nah, it's worth sacrificing the one goblin to guarantee that we get past this. And just haste up the uh, centaur. For more easy range damage. These guys can put down a trap. So theoretically, she's going to come down to kill this. She'll get into that, which will slow her down, and then she won't even be able to reach it. But she's already gone on the path to there, so she might go on that, slow down, realize she can't reach that, and then go forward again. Is what I'm, I'm kind of guessing that's what the AI is going to do. Be interested to see. See? Oh, that's actually the first time I've seen that. It just straight up locked her. So she lost all movement points. Normally it just slows her down. Okay, well, whoever wants these, that's fine. If you want to get them, you can have them. As long as uh, they're staying the hell away from me, that's fine. And I get as many shots off as possible before they get over here. Ooh. She's got a turn coming up. I could almost use the goblins. There's no one that can attack her without her kicking my ass, really. I 
I don't know where she's going to go. She'd probably go for the centaurs. But the way the characters move in this game isn't always straight diagonal. It might be down and in diagonal, diagonal. So I'd almost rather just keep those back. I think this guy has like a defendability. I'm just going to put him here. I'm not a massive fan of that choice, but... I'm not a massive fan of what's about to happen. Yeah, centaur time. Oof, 11 centaur. I've done so well. I don't know how I can do this. She's got too much control now. Yeah, I don't like that. See, this is the kind of level you have to be this careful on. So I, we don't need to do that. If it's going to be that much trouble. You can come back when I've got stronger ballistas. These normally I think you can kill without losing anything. Those will cost you something. But if I try these and lose almost nothing, then I'll get the experience which can help me kill the next pack. So the faster you level in this, the better as well. Yeah, I know. I've got to go this way to get to the shrine with the book. Oh, that shrine. No, I'm not going. I keep thinking of the shrine that gives you the 10% health. That's why I'm heading up this way. Right. Right. Which one to slow down? I can use that to screw him over. And if I put this in front of him. And then carry on taking shots on him. Use the one to block. Use Neo to block from getting there. Or I can just put him here, literally. Because then he can't, he can't hit anything other than this goblin. Or you can just keep him back. So we'll see. Technically, he can actually move again, so I can actually move him here. He won't be able to resist that. Oh my god! That's why. Bad move. My bad. Because <laughs> I moved the goblin, he had a clean shot to the uh, thing again. I sort of like reset my brain. Okay, well we can go for the book. Those... These normally, I don't know, these cause much trouble. See, I could just let two centaurs slip. I don't know if there's a way to do it with losing none. War Machines is definitely the key to doing this map. That much I would definitely f fully agree with. You can have Shaman because they got high health. And they can boost. And I've got the tent, remember? Remember I have the tent. Don't you forget it. All I have to do is just take minimum damage from these. I suspect I lose one now. Wow. They did actually tank that. Excellent. And there's a heal. So now they shouldn't be able to get killed. Brilliant. Yep, that's what we're looking for. There's very few creeps on this map that you can actually just kill without any repercussions. That's what's so difficult, really. Is there's, there's not enough map creatures that you can cheese that I'm used to being able to do. But those we can do. Technically, you, well, those are so fast. They already travel halfway across the map by the time you get a couple of shots off. So I'm not sure about those. Uh, what else? Cheap and cheerful. Warrior tents, and then it's recruiting units over time. Although we, we don't really want to build anything other than Cyclops and Wyverns. Because the lower tier units are basically quite trash. 
Definitely get blacksmith. Hmm. The upgraded goblins aren't too bad. We want the centaur outpost. That's a given. Don't know whether to buy anything too expensive at the moment, otherwise. Definitely not. Even buying the goblins there might have been a mistake. Center wasn't fine. Because I've got to have as much gold spare to get the capital. So I can actually get some decent gold. I'll save it. But I don't think they're going to join me. But that would be a beautiful thing. Nope, they don't. Nine centaur isn't too bad for what you get. So then you have to wonder if it's one of those cases. Can they actually hurt you if you use shaman? Better to have two stacks of shaman than a stack of one goblin. True. Okay, well, let's try that. Mr. Click. What I'm going to do in this fight is I'm going to split my shaman. I don't know whether to have the, even the centaur or just these ones. Because those ones are nice and tanky. Or as tanky as they can be. And you just have to, unfortunately, please slow him. He gets a clean shot. Yeah, it's not good. I think if you swap the units around a little bit, you might get some more initiative. So I need to know which creatures had the best initiative. So if I had the goblins this time, for example. Oh, I didn't split the stacks. Oh, well. Let's see how that works anyway. No, straight away this time. See, it's interesting, isn't it? I've added those in, and then they got bumped up ahead. So they immediately get a shot off. Could be just smashing my head against a brick wall here on this one, but... Collect the buff before the fight. I don't want to use too many movement points. I don't know. Actually, morale might affect my... Um, uh, that was luck. Don't think I got morale. Actually, I can get the upgrade to the centaurs. Which will give me a chunk of the healthy ones. And then we can get the upgrade. So we use you. Take these jank. Upgrade you. I think it's these ones. They do a little bit less than the other ones, but they have like more health. And health seems to be important at the moment. As soon as I get the ballista rolling, that's how you just win the level. Like, I don't know how anyone can do this without using the War Machine's ballista. Like, I feel like that gives you so much more of an advantage. Only lost five. Okay, let's see who gets the shot off. He's still going to get his shot. I'm going to try haste this time. It's not going to be good enough. Because I did slow last time and it didn't affect him. If I kill this and only lose two centaur, that was six. You see how pedantic I'm being here. <laughs> I think maybe kill these and then go back for the centaur. Because I might get a level. Oh, you got the experience as well. Which is 
another item that is very good. I forgot about that one. We like that. And then you do need crystal, but there's just no way to fight those very comfortably. Oh, okay. Advanced War Machines. Hey! Look, this guy is a pimp. He goes straight to the abilities you need. This is so different to the last time I did yesterday. Already, like, f just a few levels, and he's got Advanced War Machines, Ballista, and Triple Ballista. So he gets an extra shot up to three consecutive shots. Right away, he is kicking ass. Okay, so now we need to determine where we're going. Can I kill these? Let's find out. I do need the crystal. That's 100% something I need. And I need ticking. But I don't know if it's worth losing too much to get it. There's no way this is going to go well. Yeah. Just can't quite do that yet. I need more health. Maybe Wyverns. Wyverns have 90 health. The unupgraded ones. Which is pretty much the healthiest ones that you can get this early on without getting Cyclops. Basically Cyclops are just the key. Cyclops are just orcs. If you don't get Cyclops as an orc, then you're just doing it wrong. Right. I'm doing so many saves. Five this time. Let's try it without the centaurs, although I don't know how I kill them otherwise. Just the ballistas, basically. So I lose one Shaman. We're going to slow you down. And we're going to try to hit you. So you maybe don't even get enough damage to kill Shaman. Beyond that one shot. He did 53 damage. So I can knock him down so he doesn't do 53 damage. I mean, what is it, man? Slow doesn't stack, but I don't think I can do really anything else. Other than just use the ballistic to kill him. Should be fine now. So I just have to lose one shaman. Which is acceptable, to be honest. They ain't that good. They're, they're okay. They're like middle-of-the-road units. Not terrible, but not great either. I know you already said it, but somehow missed it. Why are you using the main hero? Oh, this hero instead of the main one. Oh, it's Tarkham's idea. I wouldn't have thought of it, really. But he has better abilities than Kujin. And he can push those abilities. What we're looking for is we're looking for advanced war machines and ballista. And look what he's done. Straight away, he's gone. Whereas if you play as Kujin, which is what I was doing, she's hit and miss. Sometimes she gets what you want, and then other times, like, it will take another three levels or four levels before she reaches what you want. Hello there, Kitson. So she's pretty, uh, she's pretty trash. Basically. Does advanced enlightenment increase the amount of experience you get from times? Right, we need that into that. That needs five gems as well. So if you use the gems from here, you don't have the gems on there. But that's the main thing. That's level 15 town, and this is level 15 town. So I need to buy things that are relatively cheap again. I can get the fort, that's okay. It's the fort that counts. Because that's going to increase the population. Come back, buy some centaurs, maybe don't even bother buying the goblins, 
I just don't need them that much. It's just the centaurs. I don't have the ore. But yeah, this is going better. Proper stack up in here. We should be able to easily take care of these berserkers now. Should be no problem. First wall upgrade doesn't grant population growth. Yeah, that's fine. I still have to just like upgrade it anyway, don't I? So you need 5,000 gold again for the next one. So this is where it gets pricey. Haven't learned any abilities though. That's the only downside. He's fast, isn't he? He's not hanging around. It says two to six, but it only did two, so it's pretty sporadic the damage at the moment on the ballista, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, thanks, GG human fan. Yeah, sorry. I The only reason why I kind of concluded it, even though the strategy wasn't exactly like as perfectly done, is because the game was pretty good. Even if it was a loss, sometimes it's good to have some losses. To show that it's not always, you know, 100% doable. Please don't kill anything. Good. But I did try. It's just, it is what it is. Right, logistics, I'm a big fan of that. But I'm, I need a fence. A fence is what I need. We're not buying anything else from the base to bring over to the hero. That's why I kept her slightly back. Just so she could maybe do that if she needed to. I still don't know if I should just get... That's the talisman for adventure spells. It's not even the spell caster thingy. Uh, should be able to take those on now, maybe. Being very careful. More saves. I'm gonna start from like the start. <laughs> I'm gonna start using these early saves actually. I've already got so many of them. I should have deleted them before I started this level. Okay, so what are we working with here? She's already... The best way to do this is to cheat. Save scum. And put the centaurs at the bottom. Now that we know that they're going to start up there. Basically reverse everything here. watch the game right after it. Who's your favorite hero if you don't mind? Well, Torrin Chieftain always used to be my favorite hero. But I don't know. I'm leaning slightly towards the Shadow Hunter because he's actually really fun to play with the Serpent Wards. But the Torrin Chieftain gives a lot of satisfaction. Once you get him leveled up. If you get him leveled up, he's just an absolute beast. Mountain King's a lot of fun as well because they're sort of getting surrounds and stuff. Yeah, this is going a lot better because I've I got in a lot of fights yesterday where I kind of had to take losses because even if I played them near perfect, 
It was just the way it works is these fights are so rigged. And especially not getting the ballista early. But ah, I've got 60 centaur now, which is definitely better than yesterday. I had like 30 centaur in a fight like this yesterday. So keep stacking up those centaur numbers and then I can keep sniping. Might be able to kill the I have to kill like 70% of the goblins in one go. To get them to convert. But I'm just gonna flat out kill them. I could, that would probably get them to convert. The only problem is that she's going to attack me. I got haste on the center boy. Like I could attack these and hope. It says no, so i got nothing to lose in that regard. So maybe they convert. They don't. I think I needed to pick off a couple more. It is what it is. Not like I need the goblins that badly, but if they wanted to join, that would be fine. I'll allow it. They're going to now hit me, and I'm going to take a loss. Did I even lose anything? God damn. Tanky trappers. You have to get the goblins to 30% or below the original number. What, the very original number, or the number that you are attacking them? This fight's going to be... Uh, I'm going to have to hope that the quick combat goes really well for me. Let's go quick combat. I mean, 10 centaur? For getting... Actually, to be fair, there's only 23 hunt. I think you could do this. Not lose too much. I might have to not have these. We'll see how it goes in the first fight. Basically... We need to slow those down so my centaur can hit them. And ideally the ballista as well. Look how fast those guys are. They're like hyper fast. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Just need to not get screwed over by the... Uh, these ones now. They can reach anything they want. So I may as well just stick this in front of him. I don't mind losing a warrior. like Or losing her. We can put slow on him. Bugger. He goes for the centaur, of course he does. That's no bueno. The number they start with at the start of the fight. I guess you have to memorize it then. It's not much fancy to buy, and I need to keep leveling up the town. Allows a fist and hero to learn the war cry kept within. That's fine. I don't desperately need to get past this just yet, so I might collect the buffs and get the war cry. If I can get past the wolves, I can take a shortcut, because that's what we want here. This is the tent that gives you the wyverns. But the wolves are pretty much impossible to fight without losing horrendously. So you've got a call of blood now. Level 12 town. So that's going to be a 13. That leads towards Wyverns, so may as well get that. And if you go here, you can spend free ore and wood and a thousand gold to get Fessel of Shallow. 
<laughs> so, which we don't need at the moment. The other one is actually better. Summon creatures. So that's basically like how you get... You don't get them for free, you've got to pay for it. But it's not that expensive, really. I think I could just do this, and then maybe that. And not take too many losses. The crypt I should be able to do with no losses. But I might not be able to reach the wyverns before the next week. We must save everything. Not a creature can die. I think we'll save the mana. Probably shouldn't need to use it here. Let's hope we don't get too unlucky with the ghosts. To be fair, the ballista is pretty good to attack him with because it does like three shots. So one of those is going to hit. It's always fun. Um, Pretty bad artifact. I don't remember what I got last time. May as well take that trash and uh, sell it at the marketplace for more gold. Now it's time to fight the war dancers. The dancers of war. Okay. I think their numbers might not be too strong, so that should work in my favour. They're so quick. Have to snipe them down hard and fast. Just move in. These ones, I've got a problem there. They're going to move in there. I need to, like, block. And I don't think that's going to be enough to block them from the centaurs. I go for the trappers, though. That's all right. I can lose some trappers. But that's all I lose. Who cares about the trappers? Trappers are trash. It's just 12 to 14. Even if they retaliate, I don't think they'll be able to do enough damage to take life. Yeah, that's okay. That's an acceptable loss. And we're going to need this. I can do wizard, but we've got the uh, setup at the moment. You, I think the... The problem I had yesterday when I did that was the power of the trap is dependent on the number of stacks that you have, or rather the number of units you have in a stack. So I think I just prefer having like the one strong stack, so the trap is much more likely to actually work when I try to use it. 
Now we've got to get... Let's see. Still got to buy another building. Another trash building. It's quite likely I can get over to the Wyverns. Put it on number three. Right. Is it worth coming over to that? That does give a bit of movement points, so I'll just do it. I want to take that, that, kill those, come around and clear this. I don't think it's ever worth fighting the wolves. The dogs are OP. The dogs are OP. We need some trash. I'll just get the upgraded goblins. You can get the warrior tents and have the warriors building up over time. But they're okay units. They're not terrible. But they're not what I'm after. Hmm. So now we can get this. Just got to wait. I don't know. How the hell do I get over there? No, I'm not going to be able to get out to the Wyverns in time. That was way too ambitious. I'm almost tempted to try these. I got the autosave. If I didn't lose 43 cents, well, that might be a lot more reasonable. Let's see what I, else I lose. Because the other units, you can rebuild those quite cheaply. The Centaur are just very important. You don't really want to lose the Centaur. But yeah, these other units are uh, very unimportant. I know they're spellcasters, but you got to get in there. I'm not even sure I want to attack them. God damn. They got two mana, which is great, because now they got to deal with this. And then I can pick off the rest with my Ballista. Like, even if I lose almost everything here, if I don't lose the Centaurs, I think this is actually okay. Just keep her back, actually. They do get shots off, though, so she's going to have to defend or slow them. Nope. right. Those goblin trappers are actually really tanky. <laughs> well, tanky enough for tier 1 units. Yeah, that'll do. Obviously, obviously lost uh, a lot, but it's a lot of trash. It was all the low tier stuff. That really isn't that important. Mm. Didn't get offense, so probably better off taking everything that pumps up the power of my... Uh, Units so makes war machines more effective overall, increasing that's still good. Increase uh, still very good. Increase attack, defense, and damage of ballista. Increase catapults damage and grants it 50% chance. That first aid tent increases healing power, ammo cart, 
the ability to give attack of range units by plus three. In fact, that might even be better than getting the other stuff. But I definitely want to get a fence next, if I can. I need to sell that trash item, don't I? Don't forget to do that. Three thousand gold, easy. Right. Be new units next turn. So we can trade some units over. But first of all, going to trade those Mercury, that resource seller, for that. So I get 4,000 gold guaranteed next turn, which will go back into Centaurs. Yeah, I really like how this has gone so far. This is basically how you need to play this level. We're week free, so we're getting through it. And then we need to get the gems back and the gold for this. And of course, wyverns, why not? Why if not? The other tankier units that can fly. Don't know whether to get this for my troops. Because I can get the plus three attack as well. I think I should. That's your lot. Okay. He should be in a really good spot now to do the best he can under the circumstances. I wish I started this map earlier, though. <laughs> it's it's going to be a big one. Even knowing what I'm doing, at least for the first hour or so. so fast. So annoyingly fast. Oh, I should have done slow in the archers. And also I can save scum there. Because I forgot they start at the top. Ah, they get their turn anyway before the centaurs do. Feels bad. Jesus. I swear I got my turn. Maybe if I have a higher stack of units I get a slower turn with them. Don't really know how you can do that. Let's try it without the uh, centaurs. We go hardcore up in here. Because we got the ballistas, baby. But these guys changed their mind. That's a bit nasty. But the ballista comes through. Like the pimp it is. Yeah, I think this is better. It cost me a shaman though. And I don't have any shaman. Well, I can get shaman later. Because I don't have a shaman in my base. Just 
gonna spread these out because I think they got re AOE damage. Yeah, no, those ones don't. They got some sort of agility deal. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's a bit preemptive. That's what I wanted to do. Just wondered if we could tank it. There you go, easy. Right, that's that done. Now we got this. These are an easy kill. Well, easy-ish. I do want to get that, but don't need to get it until the week. Probably worth trying to do these. I should have got more goblins. More trash goblins. Yeah. I'll do the easy thing then, whilst I'm gathering, gathering some uh, trash goblins. Easy in quotation marks. Because none of this is actually particularly easy. But I'm so glad I got those blisters all bumped up now. Let's go, Justin. Retaliate, kill. Beautiful. Hmm. Went left. There's the warrior tents, so you can sort of go for those quicker, but... Could use those instead of goblins? <laughs> it's kind of, you know, one in the same. I don't think they're that much more expensive than... Well, they actually probably... Goblins will probably cost like next to nothing, but... I think we'll just use these as our goblins. For now, so I can keep the momentum. Has it been a month of HOM 5? Oh, it has to be. See that ballista? That is so MVP. Just lovely extra free damage. I'll just put him in front. I doubt they got the damage. If they have got the damage to kill, maybe. Might just be able to snipe him before. Actually, he can't reach. But the goblin gets wrecked. Because he didn't get... I don't feel like I've moved him that far forward. Maybe when they get initiative... See, he wasn't able to reach last time. So I think initiative, that little morale thing they get, gives them like one extra movement point, which is a bit annoying because you can't necessarily know they're going to get that or not. Because you calculate it in such a fashion that they don't have it. We don't want that one anyway. We want the healing tent as the final one. I don't mind scouting. I don't mind, but I'll just get the advanced blood rage. Got to pick up some trash goblins. Fifty of those. It's about forty. They must be like a hundred each or so. 40 of those is worth like 10. 
of the warriors. If you do the gem mine, you can get a Cyclops. Yep. I know, that's one of the things next. The gem mine and the wyvern thingy magic. Hey, they're on my side now. Although they're going to be dead in a second. So maybe I'll take these ones because these are the trappers. So we need to cleanly convert those to my side. I can't. 20 to 40, that ain't going to happen. They're too tanky, those trappers, man. They got solid, solid pecs or something, I don't know. I want to wait, actually. I think 37. They both did like a similar amount of damage. How many did I kill last time? Only 31. So 37. They had like 120. Ah, oh, didn't convert. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Shh. Hmm. Oh, what was that? Okay. Gives me a chance to save Scummit and do it again. I didn't know you drag them over. I didn't have... But the 30 of them got killed though, didn't they? Oh, who knows. Those are the traitor goblins. Yeah, but I thought they got killed by like the actual goblins. Ah, uh, there's... Yeah. History has a way of repeating itself. Upgraded goblins won't convert. Really? Because oh. I was going to attack different... I should attack the gobos. You'll get they'll, they might get so close that they get killed there. The gobos last. Don't think I really need all these one stacks, but hey ho. Wait, I kind of have to attack them because they're so aggressive. I want to sort of click on this button. There we go. They're going to get to turn. They can't reach my centaurs now, apparently. Supposedly. That's too clean a shot. Slaughter. I should have saved it. 
Oh, I didn't get to steal any this time. There was 30 of them last time. Oh, whatever. I'm getting trolled. Get that buff. The upgrades of those actually reduce the damage taken from ranged hits, I think. couple of those and then put those into the small stacks something like that now we've got to do this fun bit if I just do this without the centaur and without the high stacks and then let my ballistas do the rest of the talking. Genius. Absolutely genius. They can't hit all of us. Well, I also play scenarios. I haven't quite decided on that because there might be certain scenarios that are, like, doable within a few hours. But I'm not sure on all of them. So if you guys know which scenarios would be good for that, then sure. Earthy boys. Seems like easy experience to me. Next turn might even be able to buy Cyclops. Which is going to make this a lot more comfortable. Because I don't have to risk losing units so easily. Because Cyclopses actually have a decent chunk of health. Did you know. Of course, it's going to say I've lost some units. It's going to make me do that good old manual combat. You know we don't have to do that, though. You know it. I know it. We both know it. Not necessary. I prefer to have three one stacks of goblins, but the only problem is if one of them die, then you can't put another one stack of these shite goblins. I suppose you can do a one stack of those, though. Can I disable combat camera? I kind of can, but I haven't had it dis... I mean, it dynamic is... You mean cinematic camera, right? Why, are you getting dizzy? They should have plus three attack, shouldn't they, from this ore mine? I don't know how they managed to set up the traps from, like, that far away, but there you go. Ouch. They didn't care too much about those traps. Oh, 
Oh, they're scary. They're so scary. I don't like how they can still reach. I could have moved these back now, because this one might be able to reach those. Such is the problem of trying to get past that guy, and then you sort of do too well, and then you forget about the one behind him. I lost a goblin now. It's game over. The attack buff from the ammo can't come from the first... What? Attack buff from the ammo can't comes from the first trebuchet trait. We don't... We want offense. I can always do link powerful blow. So I can use that for... Um, finger magic. Let's do this. To be honest, that's a kind of acceptable loss. Okay. The game is now loading. Ouch. They all start at the top. Stay back. Stranger meet his wyvern. Rage can reduce significant damage from both melee and range attack. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good stuff. They're going to add a Banjo Ball ladder to War Free Champions. No, I'm not hyped for that. Who the hell convinced them to do that, I wonder. <laughs> oh my god, he's coming. Aha. Got his hoof stuck. There it is. The dream. Actually, I want those Cyclops, don't I? She looks cute with that little panda cosplay. There you go. That's a fair compromise. Not really sure what I can fight now. I suppose I've got to do the gold mine on the left hand side. And I ne need more wyvern, don't I, really? I'm almost tempted to see if I could do those with losing almost nothing. The tipping point for them was seeing Soda Pop in stream the map. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's fair enough. I think he has a bit of weight. A little bit of influence. I want to upgrade the Citadel now. So I can start getting more Cyclopses. Because what you do is you buy the base Cyclopses. I actually bought the upgraded Cyclopses from this town. But the next town you can actually get Cyclopses from. Depending on how long you wait, but you can. So you're going to upgrade in the next town. So you can take your base base bear Cyclopses and upgrade them in the next town. And then you should... I, I mean, I didn't get any further than that. I basically died at that point. 
because the computer was just too just too fast. He just no matter how I tried to juke him, he just kept up with kept up with me the whole time. I think we can transfer a little bit of this is free money basically this is for just making the difference. I want to push that citadel. As for these cheeky chaps, that's not too bad. It's just some goblins and a wyvern. That's better than I was expecting, considering it's a challenging. Challenging is debatable. The only downside is I don't have like the cheap, low stack units. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Mm, that's some low ballista damage right there. Only takes 100 days for that resource silo to pay it back its cost. Eh? 100 days? It's, yeah, that's one month, two month, three month, and then you've kind of almost paid for it. You sure it's really that long? I don't think so. Like, yeah. But when you get two bases, you get a better rate. Let's hope we get a bit lucky with the uh, traps. Because these are going to bloody hurt if they reach me. In fact, these ones get their turn quicker. So I actually need to snipe these ones. And then put traps in front of the other two. And now they don't. Focus this bad boy. He's going to kill a couple of centaur. Oh, he got wrecked by the trap. The trap wins. Huzzah. And I'm going to put these goblins in... I mean, I could do another trap and hope... I can't tell whose bloody trap this one is, though. Because you can only have one at a time. I'll just do a trap here. So we... Okay. Ha! Huh, he actually passively blocked as well. Righto. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. That'll do. Sunny Jim. Take that to the bank. May as well just wreck him. So there's only one that can attack. Annoyingly, the centaur now has to get cock blocked. Okay, so they get trapped, they don't necessarily get. That was kind of annoying. I didn't think he was going to move again that quickly. He took a shaman out as revenge. <laughs> Fine. As long as it's not a centaur. So this is the way that leads towards brown space. I don't know. I mean, when I did it, I was like uh, several, a couple months in. So I was strong enough by that point. But that was also too late. You don't know what's going to happen. Because it doesn't mention it in the... Um, thing here that you're being chased basically but that's what this teleport is for it's the perfect army isn't it it's almost too good 
But yeah, we got what we wanted, so... You just got to be a bit delicate and careful. That's what this area is, basically. You can't go anywhere now. This is the area you got to work with. So that's why there isn't exactly a super rush. There is a rush to be efficient, but... You actually can't do that much. The only reason why I could do this much already at this point is because, as Mulsara says, triple ballista. If I didn't get, like, those ballista traits, I wouldn't have even got this far. I'd just be, like, useless. She hasn't picked up the spell power buff, actually. I'm going to go pick that up. And then we're just going to... I didn't actually buy Cyclopses yet. I can buy... Actually, I'm just going to keep upgrading. Does that work when you're outside of the base? I don't know. Let's find out. If I start off with 50 Rage, then I think it does. But I might start off with 50 Rage because of the Rage stuff. This guy actually likes Warriors. But I haven't really given him many. That sounds like the Predator. We'll make sure she gets the buffs so we don't forget. Sex tent. Of the sea elves. But what's important is actually here. you got to fight these high... Rune priests. It's probably a woodpecker. You're probably a woodpecker, but it could be the predator. I actually lost. I just straight up lost. I've got two wyvern. I haven't got three wyvern. But the trick was to sort of stay at the top left and ballista them down. And tank the damage with first aid tenty tent. Who's next to shoot? They got kind of doofy faces, didn't they? 69, nice. Probably gonna lose one wyvern. I don't see. You're right though. They don't cast firewall. Firewall is like a permanent thing, and it was absolutely destroying me last time I fought them because I just took like the hits because it was a gold mine, and I felt like I absolutely needed it. Oh yeah, they don't have rage. How comes wyverns don't have rage? That's kind of weird. Eighty-seven hit points. Very nice. No orc blood. So they're kind of like the outcasts, wyverns. This one's going to hurt. Oh, I thought so. I was hoping it wouldn't, but it that was an extra bit, eight extra damage. But if I get it done, then I get it done. They can't kill me now. Those numbers, it's, it's the way it's stacked up. I had, it was like a nine stack and an eight stack of priests. I knew that was going to, that was going to get me. Hang on a second. I just got a wyvern back, didn't I? Is that first aid tent doing that thing where it resurrects? I thought I hadn't picked that yet, but maybe it gets that when you get expert. Do you ever experience XP two heroes equally in home games, or is it always just one main hero? I mean, you should probably spread it a little bit, but for me, I'm always kind of enjoy pimping out one hero to, like, godlike status. Because it's so much more fun when you get to fight as that hero than fight as, like, a 
couple of mediocre heroes. Even if if you're playing really hardcore, you probably should try to spread experience and stuff. Because you can spread across the map. But it depends on the size of the map and stuff. These are campaign levels, so... They heal like upgraded Hydras. But they don't sound as good as Hydras, do they? They're not snapping. They're just prolonging the inevitable now. You run out of shots, boys. And Wyvern's going to get some revenge in a moment, I think. Never mind. See, this is the first aid. Allows manual control of the first aid tent. Restores the first aid tent after the battle. So, uh, this should be the one I want. I think I still get the automatic res without even taking this. Because I did res a unit, didn't I? Don't take tent. Why not? What you got against tent? I like the tent. The other one is catapult, but I don't need to worry too much about sieging bases and stuff. I mean, I will, but I think the catapult... Nah, how can the tent be bad, man? Look at it. It doesn't say it, but I'm pretty sure... I don't know. i got to resurrect anyway. So I don't know if the Wyverns can regenerate themselves naturally, or whether it was my war machines and first aid that did the automatic res. It doesn't resurrect without the upgrade. Which one's the upgrade, though? Is, that, is this the upgrade, the first aid one? It has to be, right? What else could it be? Oh, hang on a second. Let's get the skill wheel. So there's only one upgrade for it, and that's this one. And that's Plague Tent. So that's not... It can't be. So it has to do it. I'm sure I read somewhere that the first aid tent with war machines can resurrect units. But that's all that's available otherwise. Wyverns resurrect themselves. Hmm. Well, I don't know then. Do I need first aid? It reads on the skill wheel, but not in game. All oh, right. Well, if 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 it does resurrect units, then it's definitely worth it. If it doesn't, then I'll be like, yeah, I'd probably pick catapult. Fifteen ore. We're gonna trade for that because it's gonna mean more. Actually, I could buy this, and you can get more wyverns as well. And then I don't have to trade anything. Or I can just upgrade the castle to get basically twice the amount of cyclops. So it's do you naturally get the Wyverns or do you artificially get the Cyclopses? Just like one extra Cyclops. Cyclops is obviously the, the main end gamer, So that makes it tempting on that front. To be fair, I'm not using Mercury for like anything at this point. And Crystal Mine. So I can get two from that. I can get three from that. And then one from Sulphur. I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to push the Cyclops. Is the Cyclops a king? The Cyclops a king. Long live the Cyclops. They're the key to everything. Every single Orc level, just get Cyclops. Even the first one, when you can't get Cyclops, just get Cyclops. I wonder if I can do the same thing first as these with just those Wyverns. May as well try. But I think they're going to do enough damage that they can kill the Wyverns. But since I'm here. Since we're here. Oh. 
okay. Maybe not. Just another two and a half months to get the gold back from that resource silo. I don't know why you got such an issue, because the resource silo... It was still important. Because it allowed me to upgrade my town. So I would have had to spend some gold and some resources on something. So it may as and therefore, with that in regard, it probably did actually pay. It probably will pay off for itself. 26 centaur isn't that bad. Might be able to do this then. If they could only kill 26 centaur. The old... <laughs> the old top left wyvern strats. Not quite this time. I'm going to pick up the units from here. The wyvern from here then maybe. It's only two wyvern. Uh, I'll get a few... Uh, two... Just enough so I've always got some backup shaman. Like I'll, I have a free stack. Two stacks are free. Nay! Do the seven goblin strat. Hey! The seven goblin strat actually might work. Like, I feel like you was almost being sarcastic when you said that, but at the same time, no, I think you actually are legitimate. It really depends on how much damage those ballistas can do. I feel so much better using those old saves than, um... Oh, what am I doing? Stop it. There you go. Except I need to swap them over. Perfect. You could have a couple of sacrificial shaman just to cast slow. So I'll save it. And if it goes wrong, then we'll just chuck a couple of shaman in there. And cast slow on the bowmen. See if we can do it just the goblins though. It thinks it's defeat, but is it really defeat? I don't even know if there's any point charging them. Because they're just going to one-shot the goblins anyway. They got 16 shots, that's very generous. Oh, yee hi you. They, they get a one-shot no matter what. So I'm not even sure if anything is worth casting. Well, let's see if we can kill one stack comfortably, because then that's one less goblin that dies. There you go. See, that says 19, but that's like 18, so it's a guarantee. So I should take that. And now, only two more goblins can fall. I think this is doable. Janko with the seven goblin strat, I didn't think of that. They can yee all they like. But their inevitable demise is coming, because they can't kill us all. See? Now we just have to hope that we can kill that one. Yeehaw! The seven goblin strat is legit. Don't mock it. Trust in it. Believe in it. Obey it. I 
I gotta go kill some wolves now. I'll basically clear everything and then I'll go fight the brown. Might be able to get experience now. I don't think I'm gonna need that much gold. Just to boost the town. I always forget about that treasure chest. I did that yesterday. Yeah, I bet Tarkin feels real dumb right now. I can just about afford those, and then we can get centaurs as well. Everything else is kind of like that's the only problem with the new races, like the dwarfs. They <laughs> they got one good unit basically, the lava dragons. I think. The orcs have got better units kind of overall, but their best unit is not going to compare to the Lava Dragon. But they've got several more units that can compare versus the dwarfs that have so many tiers that are just pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty low tier. Like, if you did a tier list, I think the dwarfs would be like... So many would be like next to nothing. The other orc towns are fully upgraded. That's right, Mr. Wizard. It was that way yesterday. I guess I should get some spells. There'll be a new week, though. It cost me 8,700 gold. With two free weeks, I'm going to get 12,000 gold. So I think I'm okay to upgrade. I could even get, like, warriors as well. Add those to the list. Because my character, like, benefits from having warriors. So get Cyclops, Wyverns, and warriors, maybe. I like the Slayers, but when the Slayers get focused by range units, it's really depressing. Because they do get killed kind of easy. But if they get to hit, they hit for massive amounts. They're like Blade Masters, in a way. I'll see if I can, I can get the uh, warriors. House of Spirits. Again, like I say, shaman aren't terrible, but there's only so much I can afford to buy, and I ain't. I think I don't even think I should do that, because if I do that, by the time the next thing comes, around, I won't be able to buy all the other units I want to buy. But I do want to get warriors eventually, so I'm just gonna hold off. We're in a really good spot now. Like, if I still end up losing, I'll be shocked. Because this is definitely a lot better than yesterday. When you're playing it, though, you don't realise, because it's my first time playing the map. But with a bit of um, hindsight and seven goblin strategies, and three wyvern, or two wyvern in this case, strategies, you can uh, definitely cheese a few things to help you. Yeah, I might even be able to get to brown already, but there's not that much of a rush to get to brown until I can upgrade, have the spare gold to upgrade the Cyclopses. So I suppose building the Warriors is using up some of that spare gold that could have gone to upgrade his Cyclops. So maybe, yeah, I don't do this Warriors. I wasted gold there. I just realized, now you said that. Oh, this, honestly, it does exhaust you, this map. It's not any, It's not one you can just sort of comfortably go through. I have to overthink everything. You do need the goblins, because the Cyclops use the goblins. So we want to pick those goblins up. You'll see later, if you haven't seen it yet. And now I want to see if I can kill some dogs. 
Actually, I've cleared a lot of the camps. There really isn't actually much left to do. It is pretty much just the dogs and obviously the druids being annoying as all hell. It says the dogs are low, so it should be good. It's interesting watching this playthrough because I remember when I was younger playing this camp and I remember how terrible I was compared to Witty. In memory, I just brute forced my way for everything. Didn't even think about... Well, yeah... As a kid, you probably did brute force a lot of things. I most likely would have done as well. But I've had a lot of advice and help from people in chat that have helped me get further than I probably ever would if I was playing this again, even as an adult. Because it makes you question things a lot more. Let's do powerful blow on these boys. Snipe out some dogs. Don't know if I want to. I think because they regenerate, they can take it. Damn, they can definitely take it. We're going to take these down. And get the big boys to finish those. Oh, this is so much different to yesterday. These walls were a pain in the butt yesterday. I had to try multiple times. Although I didn't have Cyclopses at this point. Heals friendly creatures. Okay, that's how you do that. She's picked up the bus. She's happy to abandon this place for the most part. I don't even think I really need to worry too much about getting spells. What are the orc spells? I haven't. I don't know the orc spells. The late game orc spells. I might get them from the next town anyway. Did you get the shrine experience? What's the shrine experience? You say experience, but... That's just hit points. This one I've got. Yeah, that's the shrine you're talking about. The one with the book. I didn't know that gives experience. I thought that just gives you a spell. I thought it was just for nerds. Just once, I would like to have a quick combat where I lose no units, so I can just click OK. But that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Got to place manually fight every single battle in this bloody game. Good old druids. Gonna want to. They kill two at a time. I don't know if the druids are even worth fighting. Barbarians gain experience from those type of objects. So the other heroes don't. I could get upgraded wyverns. No, actually, I can get the wyverns upgraded next time. Not worth. Pretty much not worth. There's still a couple of buffs to pick up. Maybe. Like that one over there. Now it's month two. So this is where it gets a bit more dangerous. But we still got time. Because I was like month two in a few weeks. By this point, pretty much. Well. Almost by this point. Boom. Boom, 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 and there's your, there's your money. Can actually um, sacrifice units. You slave them rather. You get slaving, and it gives you money that you can use to buy the better units. Ah, that's. See, basic... Oh, see, she's getting it. Basic attack and archery. Oh, shit. I didn't think she was going to, like, level a bunch of times. Would he do that now? He's already been there, though. It's alright. That's basically what I want. What she just got there. I want 
a fence and archery. But I haven't had that happen for my main... Well, I say my main hero, this character. I'm hoping the druids just run away. Because it says they're low. Come on, you cowards. Gonna be difficult, are we? Gonna be difficult, are we? Kaka. Then I will use my wyverns. <laughs> Seven goblins again. We can't. Well, we could. They got stone spikes, though. I don't think I can one-shot the druids with my ballista. My ballista needs like a couple of shots for each one. We'll try the wyvern and see if I can just slowly regenerate all of my health back. If it doesn't die immediately. Shit, I've done it wrong. He needs to move closer. Hoping that should be close enough. Yep. Yuppers. Give him a bit of rage. Oh no, he doesn't get rage. Just kill the numbers then. He has to not die this turn. Don't die. To be honest, I don't even think he can make it next turn. That was nice. Oh, keep hanging in there, fella. He's so close. Bugger. If I had just maybe a couple more wyverns, I think I can do that pack. And I can just slowly regenerate cheese over time. If they just keep regenerating stacks, then you can just keep them indefinitely. Oh. Do I want to wait another week? Oh, I can get a couple of wyverns from here. There you go. Job's done. Might as well buy the shaman whilst I'm at it. Wyverns plus one gobbo. Well, the one gobbo. Yeah. True. One gobbo for distraction. Knife to the belly. But he's got abs, so he's strong. I want to keep multiple alive, just in case I accidentally kill one stack. Because they'll start auto-attacking, and they'll run out of shots. But they don't do much damage with their... We did 13 damage there, and that's because I'm close. He's run out of mana. 
So I should just stand here. He's going to attack me. Then I can retaliate and then fly back. If I attack him now... Can't use the blister. Could even just attack with a hero just to knock the numbers down. But I'll let him uh, retaliate. And then see where we're at. There we go. It's a free. It's pretty low. Nothing's changed here since yesterday. Oh, if you watch, you'll see a lot's changed since yesterday. We've done this much more efficiently. So I could leave it on the one. That's fine. That's less damage. And then the Wyvern's just got to very slowly regenerate up to like 13 stacks or something without accidentally killing them when they run out of stacks. Can I really get back to 11? Wyvern? Maybe. I need the first aid tent to heal him and then he can regenerate. That's what I thought was going to happen, but the first aid tent ain't doing shit. Let's regenerate 45 hit points. Why has the first aid tent gone AFK? It's because he regenerates the hit points. Tent has three uses per fight. Really? I thought it's, I didn't think it was limited. I thought it was unlimited. Oh shit. This is bad. Maybe it's deliberate that you can't sort of set your creature to not attack back, to not retaliate. I should have almost left them with more stacks. There's no way. He's going to retaliate and kill. Kill. Crush, kill, destroy. His wyverns are too snappy. Maybe if you use the morale battle cry. I don't think I have that. I got the rallying cry. Oh, I see. A bit more morale. To sort of maybe get my turn quicker. Pretty soon these are going to corner me. And force me to attack them. Like they're, they're slowly trying to force me to kill them before I regenerate. Too many tricks. See, look at that. I need to get two turns before he gets his turn. So I can fly off to the other side of the map or something. Hey! That's exactly what we needed. Clever Wyvern. Good boy. That was a bit of luck, that was. Oh, he's going for the turn. He's first aid tent can't heal itself. He's got 783 health. That's different to like 100 health. Well, there you go. Job done. He's happy stabbing away at the tent, and I'm happy standing here and just get my uh, cheese and my stacks back. That's fine with me. This is why the Wyverns don't get rage, just because they're cowards. Well, really, they're not cowards, they're just clever. I think I only had 11 stacks. No, 12. How many did I have when I first... Maybe it might be 13 or 14 now. 13. Because I, I bought two, and I remember 11, so it must be 13. What did it say it regenerated? 31 hit points. That's not regenerating hit points anymore, so that's it. Okay. Cool. Swoop in, or let those do their thing. Sweet! That's what I was want that's what I wanted to do. There you go. Got to kill the camp and lose nothing this time. He's still not getting the abilities, but he's got expert logistics, so certainly can't complain too much with that. I really need him to get a fence next time. Oops, that's fine.
Save. Nah. I'll let auto save take care of their saves. Auto saves got my back. Uh oh. Look at that. I didn't pick up on that last time, but yeah. You know how long much longer that till turn took. That means he's getting ready. Uh I suppose I should pick buffs and probably wait one more week. So yeah, let's go get buffs. Let's hang in there another week and then go break through the the barrier. I think it was month two, week three, that teal spawned in. And then just like, I was like, oh shit. Because what happens is, according to Tarkham at least, is the earlier you break this gate, the quicker teal comes, but he'll come with a smaller army. Whereas when he attacked me, I didn't even break through the gate at that point. So, um... He came with this gigantic army, like 19 Cyclopses, etc, etc. And I only had 9 Cyclops at the time. So I've got 5 Cyclops now, so you can kind of get the idea. We're close to where that was. And he came with like a ginormous army, and I just... Whoa. What can I do? What can I do against such power? Such strength. And he was like super fast. When I tried to sort of like cheese and sort of make him run around in circles... He was quicker. He was like as fast as I was, even with like logistics and the boots of speed. I don't know how, but he was. Maybe the computer gets the item, so it, you can't cheese him. Because that's what I would have done. I would have just run around in circles for like weeks until I could buy enough units to kill him. <laughs> Although Tarkum said another one comes, actually. So if you kill, well, it might come anyway, whether you kill or not. I got quite a lot of spare gold now. But there should be some units to buy from brown space, so I don't have to. I can buy units to preemptively not lose units versus this fight. But I think I'll be okay. I'll just get the buffs and be on my way. One of the teal heroes has a movement speciality. Yeah, I think that was the one. Because he was... I had to, like... I, I sacrificed the other hero. Because I was playing Kujin, so I sacrificed this guy to try to slow him down, and it wasn't enough. He was just a nutter. He just, like, he just took the piss. He was so quick. It must be one month exactly after you do the crypt. Because it's a new month, and I can't do the crypt yet. We got some sweet gold now, don't we? I don't know whether to get the warriors and upgrade them or not. I think we just hold on to the gold. We we still say no to the warriors for now. Can I get movement speed? I can. That's it. I'll get the shaman, because why not? It's not a big deal. Teal's getting ready. He's getting amped up. He's excited. Just bear in mind that all of this time has been spent on just this section of the map. This level's pretty insane. But this is like, I think, I'm sure you could do it better than what I've just done already, but that's pretty min-max, especially in comparison to yesterday. I want to see if I can just do this with the Wyverns again. 
I didn't know, like, those wyverns. I like those wyverns, man. The orc units, the last two tiers. If they can regenerate, they're like Hydra's baby. Remove curses. There's oh, yeah. We can remove curses. Look at that. Let's get my, um... Yeah, let's just give everyone a bit of, a bit of love. He only killed one. What a joke. You haven't got cyc you ain't even got cyclopses! You don't stand a chance. What do you think you're gonna do? Hmm You think you can take me? You can slap me about, but I ain't gonna be enough, mate. First aid tent, getting more MVP. Removing curses as well as healing. I might leave the centaurs alive because they're range units so I can regenerate again. They're going to do some damage. Whereas the cyclopses won't regenerate. Supposedly I can regenerate, resurrect with a first aid tent, but I haven't really seen the proof of that at the moment. I don't think the first aid tank can. I think it might be a typo or something on the skill wheel. Would ever go for a 10 hour stream as a record. That's cute. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, you're like one of those streamers who say they've done 12 hours they go oh guys oh it was hard but I did a 12 hour stream mate I streamed for 55 hours before non-stop not even fucking close to my level these streamers. Not even fucking close. Like, oh man. That 24 hour stream. I was so knackered, man. Oh. I couldn't get up for five days afterwards. Try doing 55 hours, 55 hours in one go and see how you feel. Not even fucking close. Also, this is really rigged. Because these guys can't get over. I didn't retaliate. Nandu. Nandu koi. You did a hundred hours in five days, did you? It's not bad. Technically, I was awake for like, oh fuck, I lost a Cyclops. I'm not happy about that. We'll see if this first aid tank can res. If not, I'll have to do it again and just do it with Wyverns only. Sneaky Wyverns. I did it, I was awake for like 68 hours because I tried to go to sleep. The way that the World of Warcraft releases work, because I did it on like World of Warcraft, uh, Draenor, was it? Yeah, Draenor, I think. And they release like at 12 a.m. UK time, so I tried to go sort of like, I woke up in the morning, then tried to go to sleep so I could sort of wake up again closer to when the game released sort of thing, but I never slept. I was lying in bed for like eight hours and I never slept one wink. That was agony. I can't tell you how that feels. And then I did 55 hours after that. It, <laughs> 63 hours in total, whatever it was. I can't even remember now, but it was a lot. It was torture. I think I have to do this again. I don't want to lose um, Cyclopses. I've come this far being this stingy. Why would I just lose a couple of Cyclopses now? Did I hallucinate? I mean, there's a video of me sleepwalking at the end, and I don't ever remember sleepwalking. I literally walked myself over to my bed, and I have no recollection of that ever happening. Hmm. I don't... I don't think the first aid tent does resurrect units. I 
I don't think it does. All the snappy boys are going to come after me now. The funny thing is these got so much health. And they can resurrect, although that won't. But yeah, the first aid tent resurrects. This blister does. I call it the ore cart because it looks like it's got ore in it. That's the only one that doesn't really. Stranger meet his dragon. There's nothing to cast anymore. Maybe run and cry. Oh man. What the fuck, dude? Glad they're staying back for now. Stay back. Nope, that's not good. Stay back. You're too strong at the moment. I didn't know about this wyvern cheese at all. Those goblins are actually doing me a favour. They're just going to like block her from reaching me so easily. I'm going to make her come up over there. So she wastes even more time. She's not moving. She's clever. She's not falling for it. They have one shot left, so they shouldn't suicide into me. Oh, she's still... How do you still have mana? I never got the upgraded versions of these. Oh. They regenerate mana or something. She's at 10 out of 12 mana. Oh my god, she's so clever. And so sexy. Don't forget how sexy she is. She's pretty slow, so she might actually be easier to kite than the other ones. He needs his buff. She's actually going to hurt me. Mm. This is stabby. I forgot the first aid stops working, doesn't it? Fucking first aid tent. I'm really making a meal out of this. It doesn't have to be this hard, but... I don't know. Let's try that. Snap. Okay, that's good. They hit my cent they hit my wyverns, not my um my centaurs. I was gonna get there eventually. So we snipe the centaurs down and then try to protect the centaurs whilst the wyverns are like regenerating. And hopefully don't lose any cyclops. To be fair, the, the cyclops is the only one that really matters. Just don't lose the cyclops. If I move those will be able to hit the Cyclops. So I, I think I need these Wyverns to keep tanking like they are. Keep taking one for the team. These poor, <laughs> these poor Wyverns, man. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped with him. Snappy boy.
I might want to not use the tent next time so I can heal the Cyclops in case it gets low. Because the Wyverns are going to naturally regenerate. Anyway. I don't know how I'm going to kite for all eternity though. Oh, those shamans are suddenly fast now, are they? Please don't kill my wyvern. Please. Bitch! Did they regenerate after that? <laughs> no. Oh my god. I'm spending so much time on this bloody level. I know I can do this and not... Ah... Uh, Seven Goblin strategy. Shaman are pretty um, sacrificial, to be honest. for my centaur this time. Well, if I lose 10 centaur but kill everything else, then that's okay. Ah, oh, see? Resurrect. You, oh, you can resurrect. There you go. Official proof. So you may as well just not use the tent. Did it just automatically... No, that was the Wyverns. Tent is OP, then. Although free uses is pretty stingy. It, can't, it must be more than free. See if I can get this name. La Fender Van Bedainung. Thank you very much. Perfect. Snappy boys. Snappy boys snapping away. Tempted to bring the big old Cyclopses in. But I'll hang in there. Have I got haste on my Wyverns? I do not. It's time to... See, she... If I go like that, it might be able to bring the Shaman back round. Which would be convenient, if I can. No, they must have taken some more damage or something, right? Because otherwise it was Resurrect 10. I was going to say, did they resurrect themselves? Well, let's keep doing Call of Blood on him so he's less likely to lose. Oh, see. They're coming for me now. We've got to snipe these down a little bit. And then the Cyclops need to start doing something. Don't care about the rage on the uh, Sherman. I'm surprised how tanky those shaman are. Not tanky enough, though. 
could almost deliberately take... I don't think these can even kill a Cyclops, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still 51 of them. But by the time the Cyclops hit them, there's going to be like 30 of them. I don't think 30 is going to be enough. Could theoretically attack these. I kind of should be blocking them from being able to reach my... Thingamajigs. So this is it, boys. Big hit. 51 damage, just nothing. Yep, that's perfect. So now, now we just need the Cyclops. These have got a speed of 6. The Goblins are faster than that. It says the Goblins have got a speed of 4, but... Debatable. I'm going to do a heal on the Wyvern since I'm not doing anything else. I knew they were going to hit one more turn. That's why I want to save some heals for those. Goblins are annoying. We can just fly back. Snipe that. Do that. The hard bit is... I don't know. I wouldn't even say the nine is more important than like the one Wyvern. Actually, no, it is really useful to have a large number of range units. I need a way to, like, slow these goblins down. But I don't really have it. And I don't even want to attack them. If I put the Cyclops out there, the Cyclops are just going to one-shot them. So it's like the Wyverns kind of still have to tank them, but... If I buff up the Wyverns... No, you can't. Why do I keep trying to do that? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to lose some Wyverns on this one. If there's a way I can kite these goblins indefinitely, then that's great. If I've got everyone over to the other side and then they attack these, that's fine. But easier said than done. Wait, I can resurrect another nine? Okay. Get your brain power out in chat. It's not good enough. He's coming up. Maybe I'll just run everything down. Shaman are going to get killed because I can't move those buggers. I need to be able to move Mr. Cyclops. I need to shift his butt. This is it. Get him closer. Ah, oh, they've kind of closed the gap now. I can't move these. I can move those down. But I think they can still reach me. These goblins are going to just suicide on my Cyclops. Such is the way. I'm taking... I kind of need to get like two turns. I'm going to have to whack them with the Cyclops, I think. Because I can't really... No one's got, like, an extra turn, so I can move them out. So I'm just going to have to kill them. Oh, there you go. I bought another turn. That'll I have to do. Nine and two. It's not great. It's not awful. I'm not getting that archery, that offense. And this is it. We are finally across the border. <sighs> Exhausting. Hello, Mr. Super Wombat. Hmm. 
Let's go have a chat with Brown. See what's going down. Oh. Only Kujin. Yes, that's right. The Queen. This guy's a simp. Was that the first quick combat of the mission? Yes, it was, actually. Well observed. That centaur fight was actually the first time I actually just got to press OK. Greetings, Chief Dulgan. Hi. We come a long way to bring you news of Khan Gotai. I'll be back in a moment. He has There's need one. of brave warriors. Mm. Oh, Khan? This good. Means war soon to come. Gotai fight to free orc slaves? I have heard of this. Uh, Yes, free the slaves. But the chief better come quickly, or there will be no slaves left to free. Our clan longing for battle. Long time we hide. No more. We join you. Now time for feast and dance at bonfire. Now that you've made friends with the nearest clan to the shipyard, the Cyclops will recognise you as an ally to Mother Earth's cause. Oh dear. Right, so look at this base. It's a pretty pimping base. It isn't actually fully upgraded though, because when I got here last time it was fully upgraded. They forgot to upgrade the two units that I'm actually concentrating on this time. I want to check these out, see what's going down. Sacrifice Goblin. Hey, Logie, thank you. 12 months. Oh, damn, 12 months. Raging really? Blood. And Earth Daughter. Swift Attack. Looks like the Shaman are quite different, really, in their styles. They all like sacrificing goblins, though. Man, it really sucks to be goblins, doesn't it? But yeah, this is what the spare money is for as well, in case the computer didn't do it. But I thought, honestly, the computer might have a fully upgraded base. But we've got it now. And that's the next base to go to. Right. Hopefully, all of this pre-planning and hard work has uh, put me in a position where maybe I can kill mobs a little bit quicker. So, in doing that, I will be able to progress through the level faster, because it's almost 9 o'clock now. And I would like to eat at least, uh, you know, a couple of hours before I go to bed. Oh, the hunger strikes. So these extra heroes are kind of trash. Not really going to do anything with them. She's the only one that's maybe going to do something. She may as well check the base out. And then come out. Pass over the stuff. And then, yeah, take a look at this. Here's our man, our hero. I suppose we should learn this. Because then he's got it. And if he needs to summon troops, he certainly can do. I can actually upgrade the Cyclopses. Which ones do you think, though? The Untamed Cyclops or the Blood-Eyed ones? The Blood-Eyed ones are ranged, which is normally what I like, but... I should probably, if I'm doing ballistas, I think range to try to stay as far away from your opponents as possible. they got a bit more health as well, which is nice. These ones are like the meaty ones that can do big power damage, I think. Q 
could swap the centaurs over for like the more DPS ones, but I honestly quite like the tanky ones because uh, it's easier to keep them alive. I can split the shaman. The untamed can kill half an army in one swing, but friendly fire is potential high. Oh wow. Maybe I should play with the untamed ones later on in the campaign when we try the other build. Because at the moment this is like um, the Ballista build, which we'll be using for like the majority of the campaign, I think. But when we get towards the end, I'm going to like respec towards a full rage build that is all based on like just doing damage and then getting rage from doing damage and then doing more damage and becoming like near invincible. And just absolute destruction. There's going to be a bunch of quick combat, so let's go. If it's one goblin, that's fine. That's fine. Restart the level because I lost one goblin. Join me. Why won't you join? Creatures, no room. You no take candle. Even the flame lords are low. So I'm really strong now. So I can come straight into this area and start pimping away. Because what's going to happen is, is within a week or two, Teal's going to spawn and he's going to come either straight for this base or he's going to take this base and then me. So I need to start clearing this up so I can start moving over there. Let's stick with the Wyverns on this one. Let's see how I get on with just the Wyverns. That's a lot of damage. So that's not going to work, is it? I'm stronger than I gave him credit for. Go hit this instead. Leave the Wyverns be. What the Wyverns need is love. Goddamn chonkers. I should have saved it. Now I've got to bloody do that again. This level just never ends. The madness that is this level. It is unending. I wonder if this time I'll just buy the Cyclops actually instead of upgrading because I did think about that when I did it. I can probably transfer resources as well. What do I even need resources for for the most part? Upgrade the war cries a little bit maybe but not much. I think we can transfer like a decent chunk chunk. I know I can upgrade the Cyclops den as well with these resources, but I'll get it back. I think if we go hard on the Cyclops, then the fights will be much better. If you wait a few turns, the AI will upgrade the town for you, I think. Uh, theoretically, you could do that. It's not a bad idea for cheesing it, but it's a risk, isn't it? Of me going around clearing everything else and then coming back before the last day of the week. Taking the base and seeing if they actually did upgrade it. If they didn't, then I'll have to redo all of that again. So I don't know if I want to risk... If I knew 100% they would do that by the end of this week, I would do it. I think you, they, they would do it by week three because it's close. 
Hmm. I think we got money to spare. In the long run. I'm going to get like 7,000 gold a day. So, yeah. I see what you're saying. And in theory, you're absolutely right. You could just let the computer finish it. But I can't guarantee it's going to do it. So, I won't risk it. And I've spent enough level time on this mission as it is. I don't want to basically repeat everything I've done. Ironically. Again. He's got to bring those Cyclopses over. Otherwise, what use is he? May as well pick up the buff. Yes, we've been learning some tricks of the trade with the old wyverns. I haven't even got the upgraded wyverns yet. Excuse me. Just wait till I get the wyverns with the thicker necks. Then we're talking. Feel like the frame rate's dropped since I took over this new area. Let's see how the Cyclops do in this situation. Hey, I might get to keep those goblins. Just gotta get those goblins away from him. Although I won't be able to. I don't think there's a slot for those goblins. Because I don't have those types. Unless I combine the shaman. I guess I'll wait. Will he go for the gobbos? He does. He's getting closer. I think I can move in now. Save the goblins. He actually might kill one of my cyclopses here. It's annoying because I can't... Oh my god, he hates those sob... <laughs> He's like... If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Oh, that's what that was then. Those are like the extra units that I lost. I thought when I first went through that screen too quickly, I thought last time it was um, a case that I could have grabbed them and pulled them into my inventory. Well, I'm not starving at the moment. I can carry on going. It's just this level's still got a way to go. Hundred and sixty six. They actually did take a pretty meaty hit from those arcane ones. These little ones don't do really much. So let's just kill the arcanes and you'd be fine. Also I got the first aid tent to back me up a little bit. Let's get clubbing. I mean pretty soon I'm gonna have an army that's almost equal to what Teal has. Which, at this point, I definitely didn't. So it shows you how much better I've played this time around. Although, you wouldn't know that if you're watching on YouTube, necessarily. Manticores. Why are you, man? It's the Manticores. That's right. Freaking Cyclops is so good. Hey! That's the right path. This looks like some Japanese armor. Check that out. Runic War Harness. Increases hero's defense and knowledge by two. So 
So we're going to be escaping on ship at some point. Who else is moving here? He's got to bring this over. Do I still want to fight these, though? If I fight them with the Cyclops... You could just go. But I'm still going to be stingy and try to not lose anything too major. Keeping these so I can snipe them. Get a few extra hits in before they get too close. Damn, straight in now on the Wyverns. God damn! Trying to get a beating. He might go for my centaurs now. Which I'm not going to like if he does. He only killed nine. It's pretty tame, really. How long is it going to take me for my wyverns to, to repair? Ugh. Yeah, that's... Imagine if I just fucking saved. I mean, I do save, but this I need to do saves in between saves in between saves. I should have saved before those boys. It's so annoying. Can't even remember what I'm fighting properly. Oh, yeah, that's right. even kill one. There we go. So collect that. Get that. Do what you gotta do. Come back. Get your luck. He doesn't... No one cares about him. He goes back. You go here. You wanna give some advice on the old Kujin? Can someone else read that out for me out loud? That's a lot of that's a lot of text. Press F five. Oh yeah, I forgot about that F five. Um there we go. I'd like to give some advice on Level Kujin because there is some bad game design in regards to the fight to the very last mission of the game on Horok, and I've seen some people complain on forums that the game devs never tested it out with the wrong skills, it is impossible. You need to take Shatter Dark Magic specifically, then attack leadership for retribution. Can I memory mental though on the last level? So I can always like change my abilities before the end. Then attack leadership for retribution. Oh well there you go. Yeah I'll do that basically. But I'll take that into account. Shatter dark magic being the main one most likely. Shatter summoning may replace luck with a perk that gives three times damage versus key to units. You can memory mentor just before the fight. Yeah, so worst case scenario, we can lose the fight and then memory mentor to sort of work out how it, how to do it. My wyverns... They're cheaper than knights. Paladins, I think. I want to upgrade those Wyverns and check them out. Because I haven't actually got to play with any upgraded Wyverns yet. I mean, 12 centaur and an orc quick combat, I really shouldn't be complaining too much about that. I mean, what do you expect? They're going to kill something. Just do the quick combat for 12 centaur, it's fine. 
Save me some time. He needs that, so that can be put onto Kujin. i got to remember before this level ends to put the items over. I mean, to be fair, couldn't she, like, take over now at this point? Because the hard bit's done. At least um, the trickiest bit is done. The setup of getting here. I feel like she could take over now. I think we're going to try that. It's her time to shine. Could try the one goblin stack, actually. The seven goblin stacks versus these guys. Whilst we're at it. The hard bit is over. Yeah, don't say that, but... You know what I mean. Like... I don't see how she can f, f it up, basically. Too much. Like, I've paved the way. So I don't see what she can do that can make it really horrible. Like how she can screw up. She needs, yeah, it needs to be swapped over the other way around. He's, he can still do this bit. Ugh. Okay. Seven goblin strat, let's go. Oh, I split some, huh? Get to your corners, boys. Well, Blister can only kill one. So that ain't gonna work, is it? Blister needs to kill a bit more than one to carry that. Okay, all of this work. I should let her maybe kill the easy things like this, so she's less likely to fuck up. But the hard ones like this, I'll let my boy take care of. I was just going to take the quick combat, to be honest. Oh, no. 25 and 9 now. That's no bueno. It's Father Christmas. He 
He's so annoyingly fast. I can't resurrect the warriors. Well, <laughs> I don't know why you can't resurrect the warriors. I guess there has to be a stack alive or something. Whatever. Whatever. Although it's four wyverns lost as well. Oh my fucking god, I am so OCD. What is this hell I'm living in right now? Let's just go back to the one where I only lose 12 centaur. Which should be this one. There you go. That's it. We're done. It's time for the queen to take over now. Get some experience. Get some easy experience. Oh, Jody. I feel like this is more exhausting than the 55 hour stream. <laughs> you don't know if I can spare 12 centaurs and free gobble. I think you're being sarcastic at this point now, aren't you? I don't know whether to get our abilities that are based on what Anon was saying now. For later on. So, attack, leadership, luck. I don't think I can get all of that stuff without respecking properly. So I think I just build for like the Ballista build again. And then worry about it later. Because I don't know the builds well enough. So she's got like the war machines. She hasn't got the war machines. She's got the opposite. She's got the she's got the offense part of it. She's got like this bit. Yeah, I'll respec her later. Yeah, I'm I'm not good enough at the game, or I don't know orc well enough to sort of um, build without using a guide or something, or really studying it. Fear my roar. That's it. That's it, boys. He's got the Horde's anger. He's just... Rawr. I'm pretty sure Teal's going to start invading soon. Can't be long. And Teal comes and kicks our ass. Kicks everyone in the ass. It's at the same level I had trouble with yesterday. Yes. This is pretty much where I lost yesterday. Except Teal was here and killing me. Free goblins, that's fine. So you can get that shatter. Oh, sack of gold. This would be a dead end, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit. He might come from here. I should probably clear this first. And then do the top right. The top right looks like it's a... No, that's a portal out. So that's that's last. I should come down. I almost should split up the armies, really, so I can clear more.
Oh, that poor guy's the stun. Hmm. Okay. Did I not take the units? I did not. Failed, I did. See, if he had a couple of units, he could, like, clear out some of these mobs because of how strong he is. He doesn't have the blister, though. So I'd need to buy that. Should I get navigation just for this map? That's how hard this map is. You have to get lap navigation for it. Oh. I'm hoping that the top and the bottom parts of the map are bits I don't actually have to do. Clear this up. Gonna have to trust in the Wyverns to tank this. If I put the goblins close together, the water elementals might not be able to resist using Circle of Water. There's a lot of them. A lot of water boys. <laughs> it's going to do no damage because it does. This does damage based on the amount of units you have. Seems all right to me so far. Earthy boys are getting a bit angry, looking a little bit impatient. Thank God. I was worried they'd be able to reach my wyverns. Because that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna be pretty if they could. Ah. The manual combat that really makes this map so long, because technically it's kind of a... It's not exactly a small map, but the area that you have to work with is small. Want to play Weed versus Greed Warcraft free custom? Uh, not right now. Yeah, now's not a good time. Huh? 
My hunger is starting to kick in. skill gameplay. For all those people and all of those previous Heroes of Might Magic playthroughs that were like, why doesn't he get War Machines? You finally got your wish. I don't even have the Ballista fully upgraded yet. I still gotta get like archery and stuff. Get job done. Keep moving. Time is a uh, fickle thing. 20 saves, and that's me saving over other saves. I don't know whether to just lose those. I don't know. We can actually have um, Wyverns or Cyclopses. Hero has a chance to scare the selected enemy creature. Depending on the ratio between the heroes and the creature's levels, depend independently of the success of all stronghold creatures in the hero's army gets additional rage points. This war cry does not work on creatures to be used by Let's give it a try. Boom. That didn't do much though, did it? It just pushed him closer towards me. So my wyverns can bite him. And in the darkness, bite him. So those aren't attacking three times, but you saw the fiery attack there. That's looking pretty neat. I'm gonna bite his neck. How many wyvern did I start off with? Was it 19? We may never know. Oh, don't say 29. It couldn't have been that much. My ballista's going to finish it off. I have to assume that I've got all of them back. Or as many of them as back as I'm going to get. Oh, it was! Fuck my life. This fucking map. It's just filled with ranged creatures and, like, druids. Just lose the centaur, whatever. The centaur have to be sacrificed for this stupidity. For this madness. Oh, I forgot. I can actually buy units from here and send them over to this town. Yeah, look at him go.
I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Wait. No. There you go. We'll move them over. Yeah, I don't even know if you can get the upgrades. Not got that much money. It's because I built a warrior tent and I never used warriors, so I'm gonna have to restart the map. You've been saying that Teal's incoming for ages now. This one I know I can get away with Wyverns. It's just Druids. Druids are just... There's no way to fight against Druids without losing a bunch of stuff. Snap them. Snap them good. You know nothing, Tarkum. You know nothing. You have no idea what's coming. My retribution is what's coming. I don't think my wyvern can tank this. Maybe I'll scare him or something. Boo. They're going to get a clean shot on me now. They're going to be closer. <laughs> Almost. Can I scare him back? So I have 29 of these. It's not really working, is it? Uh, just lose the centaur then, whatever. The centaur are just absolute sacrificial lambs. Shadow mistress there. Eh? I never can be bothered to look at that stuff. Because I gotta read. Okay, let's do this. Let's win. Enough is enough. I'm coming in and I'm slapping all of them. for the win. 22 goblins, who cares? Right. Advanced attack. you still got to get the archery and the flaming arrows. I know the experience is a little bit wasted because he doesn't have the items that increase experience. But I don't think we've got too much time to fuck about. So if I attack him, I get really punished. That's why I've got to pimp out this Cyclops. And have the Cyclops take the least amount of damage when attacking and being angry. Save those heals, I think, for uh, the Wyvern, because the Wyvern's going to need it. 
Oh no, they're going for the sweet clarps, okay. I gotta refix my W key. It gets stuck in, so I have to use like a toothpick to sort of pull it out and then clean it, or rather sort of soften it up and then put it back in. Looks like we're okay here. So it's worth giving this guy just a couple of strong units so he can still clear things up. And then that's the top bit done. So now we come down. I've got a caravan good to go. I think the caravan will probably get to about here-ish. I mean, if I want, just in case Teal might come. There were still more Cyclopses. I haven't actually upgraded any of these yet. To be fair, I don't know if I can afford to get the upgrade and then buy the units. i still got Centaur I could buy here. So I might not even be able to get the Cyclops upgraded here. It'll have to be like the next base onwards or something. I can't believe there's still another base after this one. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Gems are pretty insignificant. We're going to buy from the other town the last two Wyvern. And maybe the Centaur as well. That'll do. Or will it? Two bases left. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, there you go. There's actually the wyvern from the thing here as well I can buy. Yeah. There he is. He's about to enter a one-way portal, which means that's the time he's going to hit, which is about right. And he's got basically the same army he had last time, which is fucking strong. Where's that? Oh, the caravan didn't get as far as I thought it would, actually. I mean, I'm actually not sure of... Let's do this level quickly. I feel... Let's just skip the turn and see if he comes through the portal and kills his character, because otherwise it's pointless me doing anything else with my other heroes. Oh, shit. I haven't even got, like, a mass town portal. Interesting. Hopefully, I got everything I needed from there. Although, where do I even go? Like, that's a dead end, isn't it? The tree would have been nice. Rune Force. Isn't that a set piece? Need an extra hero to sacrifice himself. But where do you even go? Like, this just takes you... Oh, that's right. I forgot about these Cyclopses over here. It's not necessarily worth it to defend against the Teal Pirate. Yeah, I could theoretically defend against him. Depends how well the fight goes. Or you could just make a break for it. Let's try to sort of beat him now. I'm down for that. Also, I should get the movement speed if I haven't... I'm down to try to take him to town. To take him to town. Let's hope he doesn't catch up with me. If you keep defending, you will be weakened over time. Well, that's it. We'll have to see, won't we? Whether I can sort of defend... And lose very little. That's what this comes down to. Because I've got a much stronger army this time. And a much better hero. 
So if I can have a fight where it goes much better for me. Alright. Let's see. If I was able to clear the bottom, oh, of course, a fucking cool. I told you this guy, he's so fast. If I was able to clear the bottom before he reached, then I probably would just try to run, run away. But I haven't finished all my OCD stuff. We don't need that. We need to use as few movement points as possible. Still being a bit greedy, trying to get this. Shut up. And now she comes, like, straight back to base. And she should be able to avoid it. I think it'll be worth doing that, taking the portal, getting the buff for 10% extra health for the next fight. I think we fight him. I want to give him a hard time. I want him to suffer. So we don't need to take any of that stuff. Let's see if I can do this all in the same time. Requires Mercury. There it is, boys. Oh my goodness. That didn't dare teal. I mean, theoretically, I can just sacrifice the base and go straight forward, but I want to kill this guy. I want this guy to suffer. For making me suffer. I don't think I can pick those two buffs up. I just have to come straight back. I'm suddenly like hyper slow. Yeah, I'll make a save now or something. Because I can theoretically run at this point. Theoretically. I'll call it coward. Actually, I'm kind of screwed because this guy can't get back to base in time. And I need him to sit in the base.
I needed like one more turn. I wanted to be in base with this guy. See what he does and see if I can get inside of the base. Or oh, he doesn't go into it actually. He does nick my stuff though. So the question is, is does he ignore this? Because he might come over for this. So I'm gonna have her somewhat. Ready to sort of come back. He shouldn't know she's there, really, because he actually hasn't scouted it, but that's just the computer cheating as usual. Uh. Because he can also go through the portal and then gank her from behind, which is what he's going to do now. Because he's so stupidly fast. So there's a very... This is what I was having yesterday as part of the issue. It's very hard to put your hero in a position where he can't, like, just one shot her. Can't easily reach. Just had to keep trying to find that sweet spot. I don't think she can get away, so she's going to have to kind of come down to the bottom base. And then gets stuck there. Jesus, that is so stupid how much he moves. That is utterly ridiculous. I can't even debate him too much. I got so many saves now at this point. Like, he has to come over here. He'll still reach her, maybe. Oh, good. So she can maybe escape. Is it, boys? That boss bottom base is pretty much already upgraded, though. Ah, he left some troops behind. Which means I can whittle some of his forces down. And he should be softer.
So many saves. What do they even mean anymore at this point? I assumed he already bought those, but maybe not. There's nothing to buy. Maybe he bought units from here, though. The other units. Yeah. Okay, well... Let's just uh, buy that. Why not at this point? There's not much else to do. Put him in the base and see if he attacks into it. Another save, of course. Please attack into me. Good lad. All right. Should be fairly brutal, but this should be the best I can get. And it's pretty good. One Cyclops. Look how much he has. 18, 388, 30. So he has like an army that's very comparable to me. If not even maybe slightly bigger than mine. But if I do this right. Oh, hang on. Aye, 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 aye. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Oh, copyright, copyright, copyright. A hey, copyright, copy, copyright. A hey, the copy, 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 right. Yeah, the downside is I can't change the music whilst I'm uh, in that scenario. That orc music gets copyrighted every time when you're in a base. If you're in an orc base fight, it's very annoying. I've had to deal with so much copyright lately, it's getting ridiculous. Almost every single Heroes of Might and Magic 5 episode I'm uploading lately is like, Oh, did you know that this song supposedly belongs to this person? But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But, you know, YouTube thinks it does. So, screw you. Okay. So, with no music, I don't think it can copy right now. You think it's pretty easy to change the music to you? Do you? Because at that point, I can't change it here, can I? Oh, I don't see any... Uh, you have to go to the main menu. Okay. Now let's think about this. We have a shaman. We want the cyclops to be, like, chilling out with some goblins so he can chuck the goblins. Maybe on the other side. Shaman don't really do much. These can be used to suicide. In front of the centaur, in case some wyverns want to fly in. I might want to keep my units at the bottom, actually. That looks alright. Show me what you got. Okay, so. They're going to take their turn almost immediately, which is annoying. So we're going to slow them as best as we can. And then maybe haste my ones if I get another chance. But he gets all of his shots right now. So that's no good. He's going to... Ah, he only killed nine. I got some really good defense then. Well, centaurs just really suck. It's one or the other. So I think we want to either go for his Ballista. Which is a bit overkill. Um, I mean, he really didn't do that much damage. Did 97 damage. Something else that's going to fly in is going to do more damage. Depends whether he gets lucky and destroys the bottom. I don't know how much damage the Ballista does at the moment. Did he attack with the Ballista yet? Catapult. Go for the catapult. Oh, yeah. That's true. 
I forgot about that. That was advice yesterday as well when we end the situation. <laughs> now he can't get in. So he's pretty wrecked, actually. <laughs> this could actually be really good. If I lose, like, no Cyclopses and, like, almost, well, basically lose next to nothing. That's going to be insane. Okay. Ah, oh, they're not ranged because they're not upgraded. I had upgraded ones last time. So we can't do that yet. So the only things annoying are those wyverns now. We haven't got haste on these. I've got the Horde's Anger. That's pretty strong. Or we can scare the Wyverns away. Which might give me more time to get some shots off. Or just rally and cry. But I think I might try to scare the Wyverns. There you go. Repositions them. Messes them up a bit. Let's put a trap down here or something. For now. Still worth to eat goblin for rage and healing. I don't know how many goblins it eats. So we've got slow on those now. Could do haste. I did have slow on those, but I guess haste removed it. 25 turns. It's doing that thing where I can't see the hero's stats. Let's try slow. That's funny how it removes the haste. So he, he lost 25 turns of haste. He's got minus one morale as well, which is awesome. We're going to slow those wyverns as well, whilst I'm at it. We're going to be out of mana, so we're just going to pull these down, and they can be sacrificial lambs to block. Hmm. His hero is going to attack my Cyclops over time. Is that ballista gone? still like my Cyclops, so I'm actually going to heal those. That might be the one thing I have to lose. A Rallying Cry would be worth it so everyone can get a buff at this point. I'm going to pull those closer to these. I can't actually eat them anyway. Should have taken the ammo cart instead. I mean, even if you kill the ammo cart, the centaurs are going to have like six turns. I might just be able to kill the centaurs before that's even up. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's see, 59 to 106, or you kill the ammo cart. Like, may as well just try to kill them off, and then they can't shoot anyway. Wyverns are coming back for some fun. down a bit. Gonna move those forward. These are gonna move down. Get ready to start shooting the Wyvern. Or... Yeah, I think the Wyverns are more of a threat than the Centaurs. We've done Rallying. Horde's Anger. Or just buff up units even more, but that's fine. Horde's anger. Really keep those wyverns down. They're the next big threat, as far as I can see. I want my other units to come in here. I'm quite happy with those. Just bouncing back and forth between that spot. This is it. Move on in. 
Man, those computers, they get really screwed over with that catapult, don't they? That's crazy. That seems to be a really fundamental issue. Is that catapult being so easy to take out? Flappy boy getting it big. Did he kill one of my sent? You better not. He didn't. I could just put this guy right in front so he kind of blocks. So the wyvern wants to land, he's got to kind of land into it. I might just be able to kill those wyvern before they get to land. Especially if I do Horde's Anger. If they had Untamed Cyclops instead of Blood Eye, they should bust down the gate. They did actually. Do you remember? Last time they had an Untamed one. Because I remember him smashing the fortify fortification. So he actually screwed himself over this time by getting a Blood Eye. Blood, bloody, blood, blood. I will eat one of those goblins. That is, yeah, one goblin. That's fine. When I originally, I used to think that you had to lose like a bunch of goblins. That's what I thought. Heck, he's not even going to get his turn. I think I'm better off attacking those now. And then shoot these ones with the ballista. Yeah, he's got pretty screwed, I'd say. Shockwave. Well, I think this went quite well. A little bit of cheese. It's nice to have some cheese back. Apart from the wife and stuff. Oi. Oh, what? They can do that? Oh, I thought I was going to get to kill all of their stuff and um, soak up the experience. Because I basically forced him into a horrible situation. But unfortunately... They managed to cheese out of it themselves. That is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, well let's rush back down here. Oh, I should have got the movement speed, but never mind. We can put the music back on now. Just do that again in town. Theoretically, yeah. I want to pick up the buffs, but I've got to keep moving. The only problem is, is if he does have another force that comes up, isn't that force going to stack up on top of what I just killed there? Because I didn't really kill that much. Just buy the unupgraded stuff is the win. That's the real win. I remember that was one of the pieces of advice a while back in one of the earlier Heroes of Might Magic videos. Just saying, like, you shouldn't really concentrate so hard on trying to upgrade everything. And there's, I think there's a lot of truth to that. You can get carried away with trying to get everything nicely OCD, but... Not necessary. The base units are better in many cases. Oh my god, he finally got it. Just imagine, someone has done this map on Heroic and they actually got every ability they wanted. One after the other, every time they leveled up. For ballistas. Someone did it.
He's back, baby. Guess I better get capital again. Do I? Hmm. Maybe I hold off on the capital. I don't know. Capital pays off for itself within five days, doesn't it? It gives you an extra two thousand gold. Cost ten k. So I think in five days. Yeah, that's fine. Just do that. Do it on the bottom base, mostly because even though the bottom base got attacked, this base is closer to the portal where he comes from. I guess we can swap over some of the love again. It's a bit... It'd be much comf more comfortable. It's such a shame I couldn't do it properly. I mean, look, she's level 11 already, actually. That'll do. That's fine. That's not fine. Did I do a hard save after the fight? I uh, don't have done a hard save, I've done a quick save at least. And I've got auto saves. Eh, yeah, whatever, who cares. Hey! He's finally got it. There it is. Although I'm starting to play with her now. Alright, I think we can move over to the next area now. What time is it? 10 o'clock now? Should be done in like another hour and a half, maybe. And then I can start eating at like half past 11 at night. I'm sure my my belly will be able to comfortably digest all the food. So I can have a nice comfortable sleep. That's me being slightly sarcastic. Alright, I'll do a hard save. Oh my god! Look at that sweet experience left over. He didn't pick that one up. I thought I'd check. Uh, yeah. That looks good to me. If I do the caravan, I can pick the caravan up on the way back. Yeah, in yesterday's playthrough, I put more emphasis on the shaman, thinking they were going to be better. They weren't terrible, but they just ain't, they ain't super good. They ain't your wyverns. They ain't your cyclops. There you go. See, I can just barely afford that again. Oh wow, 24 Cyclops now. 
We ain't messing around, boys. This is serious business. Let's see, I can take this uh, caravan now. Oh, you're kidding me. Of course, of course, of course. Can he do it? Or is he going to be like one movement off? Yeah, he's one movement off. That caravan's going to go right on past then. Fine, I'll keep this hero back so he can uh, grab the caravan when it goes into base. I see how it is. I see how it's going to be. Here comes that teal again. That cheeky teal. I mean, technically I can just do the same thing against him. Although that army looks bigger. Caravan's over here now. Let's just go to the next location. Why? Is that really quicker? I guess it's quicker than just going that way. Alright. Here he comes to wreck the day. All right. Oh, our seeing eyes see you as our mother earth shaman. It is time for us to join your quest. Oh, all right, they join. It's only three of them, but it's untamed. Well, they seem pretty tame to me. Not so tame to that unicorn, though. Bit of a fight here, huh? Oh, what are the dark elves? Oh! Oh! I thought this was more land. Right behind him, you can suddenly see... He goes sailing. The untamed Cyclops are southern. What does that mean? As opposed to northern. I think she has the sextant. So I can pass over the sextant to him. And I think I get to keep that movement. I mean, you've got to get over here. Oh, what, Southern is in, like, this Southern American accent? I guess so. We've got some music on the ocean. I'm just hoping it's not copyrighted now. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I just think, oh, God, is, is that going to be... If that's copyright, then basically I have to cut that bit out. He likes going for the bottom base. He kind of ignores the top base, even though it's, like, right there. Obviously, I'm OCD, so I'm going to have to pretty much explore the ocean to make sure I've got everything. He's nervous this time, I can tell. He knows what I did to him. I wonder if I can distract him with this hero. So he doesn't take the base. Although he's got such good movement speed, he can probably still take it. And then I can buy a caravan. 
Although that probably wouldn't work. Who the hell? Man, what the fuck though? Who the fuck is this? Am I even supposed to fight this guy? I could go through the game files and change all the music. I could, if that's possible. That would save me some trouble. 55 wyverns, 55 flappy boys. Down for the count. It feels too wasteful. No. Oh. Oh, they got Hydras. They use all the fancy units now, don't they, in these expansions? Holy shit. Isn't that the um, Darksiders 3 lady? When my Wyverns get faster turns, then they should probably regen quicker as well. If I, re if I fear the her... She can bugger off. And I can kill these guys up here. Get my snappy boys on the case. Or I can just wait. Because they're going to take some damage if they do. Shoot them and then Cyclops finish them. pick the wrong person to fight. These are my oceans. Wait. Who are the scouts? Did you see that? I didn't see them. Are they invisible? That's sneaky. Psych. What are you up to? I recognize that music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here they come. Oh, that was cheeky. 86 clean kills there. That invis is a bit rigged. Sacrifice the shaman so the cyclops don't get any retaliation. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna lose a lot of units doing that. I felt like this was going well for me until those invisible units suddenly popped in. To be hyper annoying. Maybe I just do Horde's Anger on these before they all go in biz. Just wondering if I should redo that. Annoying, because it means I'm taking even longer. I don't think I need those. Those block. If we put everything at the top. Keep those there. There we go. 
I need to have a strong army to defeat a hero guard in the next base. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm fighting these guys, to be honest. But I assume they're going to attack me if I don't attack them. Do you mind? Oh, so much movement speed. I'll have to slow those. Is he just patrolling this area or something? Like, what's his deal? Why is he even in this situation? It's bad enough with just Teal. No, I don't, Jason. <laughs> hmm. Couldn't slow him down that much. I'll have to fear him then, I guess, which is kind of like a waste of a turn. Right fucking there. Oh, she's bloody gone in viz now. Now she's gone in viz. These guys are going viz as well. Oh, that's annoying. She must have gone top. So I need to block the top, if it's doable, before she gets there. And these guys look like they want to take a turn soon. Excuse me. If I fear him, I don't know. It's a risky thing, but I was thinking he might run back and then block if they're standing there. Might be worth the shot. Uh, resistance, so that's a complete waste. I can put the snappers there. Let's see? They've been revealed because I got close, I guess. It's a shame these guys can't bloody move there. I may as well swallow a goblin. I'm just going to lose some rage. Feels bad for my flappy boys. Sacrifice some shaman to block. But I get some clean shots now. And we're gonna... Kill some of those. I'm gonna bring these over to this side, I think. Can't move the shaman in the way. Go. 
good. Retaliate kill. Ah, uh, they're coming. 45 instead of 18. Eh? I have lost quite a few Hydras this fight, though. I wonder if I did this fight with just Cyclopses. I have to almost change the army over to the other guy because he's got the better stuff. Ah, whatever. I don't know, it's, it's, it's tricky. Blister with her already isn't that great. I might just be able to kite the Hydras, but not really. See what happens if I just finish this. No more shaman for buffs. Still seems like I lost a lot. Yeah, 44. It's not really any better than the quick combat. It's very hard to get around that. She does get a few levels there. I feel like I'd rather... just swap the army over to the main... in quotation marks guy. And then have him fight them, and I think he'll do much better. I feel like she doesn't... she doesn't cut it. Close. It's a debate. As long as he can't catch up. In fact, he has the sextant, doesn't he? Yeah, so they definitely can't catch up. So debate. Okay, that works. Just do that for now. This, this fucking level? What the hell? Who the hell? What kind of madman created this? Like, this level should be split into little levels or something. <laughs> it's a lot on itself. I managed to save this base. The fact that he killed that guy means I can technically buy him back and then buy the troops here and then run away. But he should be able to catch him. But it might be worth buying the troops anyway, so he can't buy them for himself. I mean, is Teal going to come after me? Maybe. Don't care about the other ones. You'd have to hope you can flee. Maybe he gets away with it. If I build a caravan, he won't chase after you by sea. Well, what's he going to do then? Just sit on my bases? What I could have done is use, the ca use this by from here. The caravan comes over to this guy. Although these guys look like they're going to land. Nothing of value. That's another one. Yeah, weird. Weird. This is a little bonus island, is it? Any permanent buffs from Mr. Bonus Island? I want purple to start fighting teal. I have to delete all these saves afterwards once I get to the next level, or most of them. That's it. 
Let's uh, save scum that, just so I don't waste another turn. I just wanted to see, for all of our sakes, what's there. All he needs is those, really, and then he can fight pretty much anything he wants. Have some shit goblins or something. When did I pick that up? All oh, right, that's right. Plus one to all heroes' parameters. That's not bad. There's a lot of faffing about on this level, isn't there? And the amount of faff is... Uh, it's incredible. This is the memory mentor guy. Isn't it? No, actually, I think this guy teaches you spells that you don't necessarily know already. I think they have chain lightning, so I might as well get rid of the one stack goblins. Tonky. And chunky. Wait, Horde's Anger only kills one. That's well, not a very angry Horde. So it's not really... It counts the numbers, I think, more than it counts, like, the quality of the units. Boo. I think that's pretty good. Just buy some time. Picking on my wife and Yeah, we'll do this without losing anything, which is nice. I assume that you're not supposed to fight those pirates then. Because when I first saw him, I was like, well, this is already more than enough. I kind of wanted to fight him, but... If I could fight without losing as much as I did, then sure. And that is memory mentor. Theoretically, I could relearn a bunch of stuff, but he actually does have the things he's supposed to have now, so I'm not sure if I would do it. I mean, what am I really changing now at this point? He's got everything he needs, so he's pretty perfect. He's just perfection. Stranger meet his dragon. Time for the sacrificial goblin. Dragons aren't buying it. How much rage does he have already? Ah, uh, he's only 59. Dude. Look at him, he's bragging about it. These armies are kind of ridiculous.
That was risky. I don't know if it's worth losing like eight of these. I was tempted to get pick navigation, but I shouldn't really need that. Is that worth it? Is there a way I can do that fight and not lose eight of those bad boys? There must be a way I can do that better. Welcome to this map where you have to do every fight 17 times to work out <laughs> what needs to be done. He only loses one. Ah, but he loses 43 Wyvern as a consequence. What the hell this map is. Fucking hell, he still slipped through the net. I thought that was okay. There we go. Okay, you're you're like you're having a giggle now at this point. <sighs> Goblin Trapper versus units that can fly. I ain't gonna work. in case I want to eat the goblin. There we go. Cost two goblins, but I found the sweet spot. I'd be better off eating that. Oh, you can't eat a goblin unless he's injured. I like want to attack, but I'm going to get pushed back. If I could sort of move and have the goblin attack, then have him attack before they attack. But I don't know if he's going to get that much. So I think I've got to just go for it. I don't know. I'll take the risk. I'll see. And then do rally and cry. It's not good enough. Well, we can attack with the wyverns at least. But they're going to get brutally... Burnt next turn. Although that was good. Strong goblins are strong. Yeah, it's definitely going to cost me wyverns this one. There's no shaking that. Time to attack the bigger ones and then Cyclops to attack them. Got the numbers quite low now. Mm 
I think this is better. So if I do lose Wyverns, it is kind of what it is. But I lose no Cyclops. Pretty annoying those dragons there. Eh? Credit where it's due. 37 is a lot, but that's. It's a lot. You do get two powerful items. Six Cyclops. I mean, it's 37 Wyverns, I would think so, yeah. I mean, the Wyverns ain't got that much health, are they? 92. The Cyclops are the key. Yeah. I don't know, what else can I do? Other than not lose 37 wyverns, but it's... I'll bring the whole army in then, maybe. Because I haven't tried it with the whole army. You could clear the dragons after you capture the green base. Oh, I don't know. I guess that's an option, but... I have spent a lot of time on this already. Four hundred thirty-eight centimeters is probably more acceptable now, at this point, than losing the other stuff. Oh, he's got one stack, which is kind of nice. He can still land there, so I kind of have to go here. I hope you go to the goblins. Alright, that's okay. I might... If I attack with these, I lose, like, all of them. But it means the Cyclops can attack for free. So I think I'm just going to do that. Because everything can attack for free. I get another attack. Alright, well that's gone very well then. I think that's pretty acceptable. Those goblins are pretty trash, so... That's a little bit better than 37 wyverns. 10 shaman and some goblins. I've got to, uh, you know, I'm getting to the point where I kind of want to just finish the level for the sake of like, getting stuff done. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it, but it's, uh, there's a lot still to go. If there was only a tiny bit left, it wouldn't matter so much, but. <laughs> the first level to be split into separate levels. I don't know. I've got my thumbnails in such a fashion that they're set for each level, but...
What is this level, though? Seriously. Well, we've still got a base. So I've got that going for me. Don't know if I should try to escape with the units, actually, maybe. Or if I can survive another week. I can't remember where this guy is. Maybe he's just sitting in the base. I'll save it. I'm only halfway through. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, there he is. I don't think it's halfway. I think you're lying. I think at best there's like 25% more to go. I could get her memory mentoring. mentoring. That would be okay. Oh, uh, she's not awful though. She just needs the war machines. That's really what she needs. <laughs> the level's sort of so brutal that I can't actually um really give her much attention. Obviously, this character right here is a dead character. Like, he's not going to be in the next level. But because he's so important to getting off to this level not being awful, he has to get all the attention. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad timing. Memory mentor her so that she doesn't... I was going to memory mentor her so she did have all of the... I'll just leave her then. I was going to memory mentor her so she did get war machines. Retribution is better at this point. I can't remember the retribution build. What's the retribution build? Well, I remember parts of it. I can't remember whether you get enlightenment or not for it. So you take retribution. We want the blood fire. You want the battle elation. You're going to want logistics. How'd you get shatter? Shatter magic. Need to remove the archery stuff. Uh, that was the intelligence for more rage. So there was that. There was this. There was that. There was that. And I think the shouts. All of the shouts. So that's the build, I think. I think that's it. And I guess you can take one other thing here. Because you can't get any of that other stuff. So you may as well just take the stunning blow. Or tactics. What do you think? Tactics or stunning blow? But yeah, that's... Uh that's that's pretty much the build. And then it was Diplomacy or Divine Guidance. But since 
we're going to be like level four or five. I don't think diplomacy matters too much now. Take divine guidance for quicker turns on Cyclops or something. Archery. Or oh, stunning blow. Fine, stunning blow then. Go all in on that. Although the Cyclops get... I could do untamed Cyclops though. Over the... um. The ranged ones, because the ranged ones are okay. Didn't feel like they did like that much damage. Like stupid amount of damage. Aura Swiftness is nice. It is nice. Everything moving faster is pretty underrated, actually. Okay. So, pretty much that build. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, wrong thing is up. There we go. So, I mean, I don't think she can land this turn, can she? It's getting longer and longer to bring up the saves. Because she's going to get doggy piled. Maybe I need to wait for them to do like a lap. Which is a bit annoying because it would be nice if she could get there get out. They went that way instead. So I think she can land now. <laughs> Aura swiftness and tactics. I don't know if I can get both of those, actually, maybe. Yeah, you could get the tactics instead of stunning blow. Wrecked. Yeah, you think you're trying hard. Okay, so let's unlearn. Let's unlearn. I mean, you could unlearn the enlightenment, but I don't know if I want to necessarily. Let's try. Because it's not really, it's one of the last things in a way. I'll keep the other stuff. There's basic shatter summoning. Was that the dream? That's not really... I don't know where I fit that in though. Who that... Who that goes to. Right. That's an actual thing. I'll take the Battle Frenzy stuff and all that for now. Let's do the Battle Frenzy tactics. I don't want any of those. I have to unlearn it. No. That's funny. It's just giving me troll abilities now. I forgot it does that. Here goes all of my money on bad RNG. Oh my god. You're literally trolling me. She's got expert attack, so she can get retribution. Troll, 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 troll. Troll, 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 troll. Hmm. 
We do need leadership. Oh, you need battle elation. Right. Well, we got the leadership set. Set sail for fail. I mean, she's closer than she was. So I can... I can try... What if I don't get... <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Yeah, that's close enough. I'm just gonna get literally... Gambled into submission. I'm going to get ready to see if I can bail out. Don't they just kill their all their troops by constantly doing that? They must take no damage. Uh-oh. If they turn up there, that's going to be very bad for me. Bah. Okay. They don't actually want to fight me. <laughs> They want to fight my easier hero. But this hero at the moment is too strong for them, maybe. I don't have to do that stuff. There's not like a secret island entrance at the top there, is there? Some of that mermaid luck. No, okay. Our survey says... I can almost make a break for it if he goes into that base. It's not midnight yet for me, thank god. There you go, I found a... Harry Potter wand. Definitely worth it. Who do I take into the battle then? Do we take Kul Jin or do we stick to our specialized war machine dude for now? Until I land and then pick the fights. Hello. She does need XP, but I think take him and then use her to kill easy creek camps. That's what I'm thinking. There it goes. What? We don't talk to lackeys. Send your leader here to speak. So these dark elves are pirates. Oh. So she's going to have to do the fight, I think. Because they don't talk to lackeys. Or slackies. Hello, Samba. I mean, it's a funny touch having those guys there. <laughs> they certainly got creative with these tries of the East levels. Might want 
that so I just don't lose quite so much. He might actually cast lightning, but they normally do fireballs, to be honest. The computer doesn't actually cast lightning that much. How's my Elden Ring experience? Uninstalled. So far. I would install it again and try it out, but I've got enough stuff to bloody what do. What have we here? Orcs? Are you looking for booty? Or have the demons bane booty, taken please. to a life of fishing? <laughs> No, elf. Fishing is boring. Fish don't fight back. We only seek passage to our brother's homelands. The fish have been lazy today. Let's sink our hooks into something hot-blooded instead. So what does he want? He wants a fight. I mean, if this guy wants to dick around, I'll just leave him to it. I'm a little concerned that if I go through the portal, I'm going to wake him up. I've got, I've got another... Another week's foot worth of uh, Cyclops and thingamajigs I can bring over. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, that's some nice uh, terrain. They really did knock it out of the park, didn't they? How painful is this fight going to be? We've got some flappy boys. Bring the flappers forward. That's fine. Who cares about those? Do anything with these, unfortunately, at the moment. I think it's too painful to attack with those. So now we attack with those, so it seems a lot more tempting. Get a feel for this and then uh, see if I can. Depends how it goes. So I got a feel for the fight. I'll go back into it and try it. This is definitely going to be the longest level I've ever played. We came into this a bit late as well today. I should have raged at some Warcraft 3 so I could have play started playing this earlier. Um, not even sure we've got space for those really. Because you got the fast boys. The fast boys might be able to reach up here as well. They can. those.
That looks a bit better. I mean, I can shoot those again. No, I need to kill these. That's annoying that those are in the way. If I do wait, I'm going to hope that... God, they're so annoying, they're in the way. I think that's a redo. Simply because of that one dragon stopping me from killing those. Also that. Dark Elves cheat. All of their units move too fast. They're a bunch of filthy cheaters. Still can't even kill that. Fucking this dragon just gets in the way so badly. Fuck off. Let's fucking troll that dragon. I don't know if I should bite those before they bite me. If I can reposition the Woven Boys over here, I'll feel... And then we can lose the... Rubbish units versus that. Don't we come up the top there and slap those down? Keep our strong units at the top. If I move forward, I'm going to get killed on that, so we'll just finish those. And then we'll pull back versus these. Oh, they're doing that invis thing. They're going to end up attacking my centaurs in a moment. Get out. There should be a way that I can find them, really. That was a... I should have moved more. That's my fault at least that time. Kind of hoping that... Those annoying witches don't sneak up, but I think they will. I just want to use the Cyclops to attack, actually. Oh, there they are. They were hiding at the bottom, which cost me a bunch of wyverns. I wasn't expecting that. But at this point, I think this is about as good as the fight's going to go without... I mean, I could redo it and not lose those wyverns, but... I'm tortured at the moment, at this point. At this freaking level. Yeah, I noticed that earlier... When I stood next to one of the invis mobs, they became visible. Get the fuck back. Or get forward. There's really no easy way to fight into this. Just gotta run away. <laughs> or use the Cyclops, who are pretty pimped out at this time. Pretty angry. So I think we go Cyclops. <clears throat> God, they hate wyverns. Right, that's fine. That's good. Let's just get this done. 
psych these up and finish these off. Shut up. Oh, if I do a rerun, <laughs> I might have to wait before I can start the stream tomorrow. Because the stream's going to go on longer than... We'll see. Not quite. That's good enough. It's not perfect. And she got fucking awful abilities and she's stuck with them because I can't go memory mentor again. At least not... Why does it keep forcing me to take absolutely useless rubbish? Well, I might have to take Stunning Blow instead of... Instead of, uh... I mean, never mind. I didn't get the abilities anyway I'm looking for. Like, I'm getting really unlucky with this. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'll just get diplomacy. Maybe that can work in my favor for this level. If I get a chance to... I'm just going mad at this point. Give me your base. Greetings, Chief Mandu. Your tribe is hard to find. I come in name of the new Khan Gotai. Greetings, Shaman Kujin, Walker of Dreams. Lands are dangerous here. Dark elves roam waters. The orcs are strong now with a strong Khan. Join us. And the orcs will travel Mother Earth's paths free. Then we join you. Let us go see this new con. But first, we have big celebration. Sounds like an orc grunt. Oh, good. This is... This should be the last level or something, shouldn't it? What is this level? Right. I assume everything's upgraded. How can not... How can you not have everything upgraded in this place? What are you doing? Might want to go the talisman route. Let's see if I can get the talismans. Anyway. You can keep that. Do I just go full on untamed instead of the range cyclops? What's better, the range cyclops or the untamed? Range, range are like safer. Until you've got like the full build, I think. Spell is forbidden in this map. Instant travel. Feels bad. See if I can get level 20 before I learn the next one. The untamed cyclops can throw goblins too. Oh, I didn't know that. Well then, why would you pick the blood ones? They got a bit more health, I suppose. Alright, let's go untamey, boys. And then those are the uh, sexy pokai. Pokers. I mean, which is the ones you're supposed to pick? The Foul Wyvern or the Pokey Boys? I mean, I can afford everything in that base, so I may as well. They debuff and they accidentally friendly fire a lot less. The Untamed Cyclops. Pokey boys can... Okay. Shall we try the Untamed Cyclops and then regret it later? Oh, 
Honestly, I may as well make this guy make a dash for it or something, because I'm never going to be able to afford those troops. It's going to take way too long for me to afford. Why has he only got... He's not even been doing anything. He's been sitting at base the whole time, hasn't he? Hmm, not quite. She can get her mana back or something. Don't keep allied creatures near them. Treat them. Yeah, but the problem is, is they take up so much space you don't even have. These aren't really going to land, are they? I hope not. Oh, it won't let me do it. Hmm. Maybe this is the part where I sacrifice this hero. <laughs> I could have sent him off. I'll see if they if they land. I think I'm like screwed. Oh, there's ships blocking. Let's get some pokey boys. have to take something, don't you? Imagine if I could do, you know, just some fights. I mean, tactics certainly give me more space to move these thick lads around. You can block the harbour with enough heroes. Oh. Yeah, do I have enough heroes? I think the only place... It's hard to tell because that ship's sideways. There's three ships there, isn't there? So the only place they can land is here, I think. At the top. hour map. Let's go. Yep. That's not good. How much did I lose on that character? I don't know how much he had. God, I have to do that fight again. Fuck me. Oh, my back. My back is broken at this point. Regen those.
It does auto save, but I was thinking I might be able to do this fight better. Gotta move those shaman so I don't get cut. We're gonna wait. Actually, I could probably just kill this. Waiting's gonna be almost as quick anyway. I might just keep fearing those back. Those are really just kind of an annoying threat. Doesn't fear them enough, but whatever. Give it some luck. They're still the threat. After you dealt with the pirates or found a way to permanently avoid them, the map is basically over because there's one enemy left with a statically sized damage. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, I'm seeing if I can get here to the base quicker. So when they attack from Invis, they don't get retaliation as well. That's cheeky. Losing a few Cyclops. But uh, I think I'm okay with that. I've kept more um, Wyverns alive this time. Getting a bit aggressive with the losses on Cyclops though now. Getting a little bit... Bit above your pace station. Flap them in. It's honestly hard to tell. Oh, I see what you mean about the AoE damage. Hard to tell if this has gone better or not. Oops. That have really gone better. There's a lot of Cyclops that's killed. All of my auto saves are actually. Did I not save it then? I don't think I saved it actually. <laughs> After I got onto the land. All of that was done in like one turn. Crazy, isn't it? I think I've crashed it now. Ah, I legit crashed it. <laughs> this goddamn map. Oh, this is the worst map ever. At least for doing it in one run. I do say I do delete the saves quite often. Just wait, I can still fight this guy with him maybe. Because he, he talks to her, but I think this guy can still do the fight. Perfect. 
Another save. Uh oh. He might still get me. Yeah, I think he's still got me, to be honest. But whatever. Maybe I can surrender and then get the troops back. Yeah, I thought so. I can do the fight with him. It was just you had to do the talk with her. To walk the walk and talk the talk. Stab. Oh, fuck. That was annoying. With the sound is ahead, that's probably because the stream's been going on for so long. So it's probably starting to disconnect a little bit. Which mean no matter what, so no, oh, my goblin. Snappy. Okay, it's time to try to block. Good luck with that. Oh, that was nasty. You nasty. I still think this has gone better. So I'm taking this one. And that's after I respect her. You guys made me respect her. This is all your fault. I'm going to do that on them in case they get hit by the lady so they can tank more damage. I can get an easy kill, but I think she's going to pounce on me. She might still be there. I don't know. It's hard to bloody tell. So I'm going to move these up. Because I have no idea where she really is. Oh, she's casting debuffs. Let's see if we can do that. This is kind of really cheating, though. It should, like, reveal her at this point. Freaking Envis? Good. She only took two, so I'm okay with that. Probably best to not attack. There it is, boys. There it is. I don't even know what this guy's abilities are anymore. I've forgotten. I don't know. I didn't respect him as well, did I? I will do. He's actually level capped. Right. Pass this back. Wait, who's who? Oh, 
I don't care about, at this point, just getting her caps. I just want to get the fucking level over. Straight beeline to this. My back is killing me. Been sitting down for like nine hours, barely moving. The red ring was on the other one. I mean, who bloody knows? Yeah, that's the idea. I didn't care too much for the red ring because it loses my movement speed. Can't you buy those useless units and send them to the slave market for profit? Uh, yes, you can. Now we've got two bases, you can. That was a good idea, Cleo. So let's see. It cost me 3560 7120 So let's see the most expensive ones. 740 yeah. You actually technically make a profit. That's a very good point. So go for the most expensive units. Do I drink enough water so my back doesn't hurt? I don't know. It's kind of dark, really. I'm just sending all of these guys into the slave market. Right, there you go. That's that done, then. This guy is going to be dead next turn. Should have sent him into the slave market as well. Right, okay, so... These guys, these purple guys, they they go in that way, but they might like they did before. So I've got to save it. I've got to block it somehow. I've lost like so much track of what it is I'm even doing anymore. Sell the items you won't need. Mm. Kind of holding on to a lot of them, actually. Like, that's useful for a tough fight, where I don't necessarily need the experience so much, and I'm using those, so... Kind of using pretty much everything. You need four to five ships docked to block the harbour. Well, good luck with that. I can't even summon the ships. Screw your chieftains. Mangu's actually blocking here. MVP Mangu. Can't even get past the twat. Ah, oh, whatever. Too exhausted. What? Hang on a second, you making me flee? Oh yeah, she hasn't got the strong army. Fuck. Oh, I've been on, on this level for so long now at this point. It's killing me. It's killing me slowly. There you go, that's better. Oh. Suffering. 
pain and suffering are all that await you. Should have played this level on easy. So I can just right click everything. I don't think I can block this the way this is let, let up. I'd have to sort of get in a boat, buy a boat, then land the boat. But they're going to land on like the next turn, so. And they're going to be able to kill me because I'll be in the boat. It doesn't look like it's much of an. Also, where does the boat get bought from? Like, if I move. Let's just say, for argument's sake, I'm going to have to start saving. I won't save over the first 10, maybe, because that's. Oh. Poor little guy. He's digging for Ash's treasure. Ah, oh, they're going left anyway. Because maybe they're cheating. So that worked in my favor. Because they're cheating. And they're going for this guy. He's probably going to get sniped. Depending on their movement speed. So if I move this boat over here. And land there. And then buy a boat here. There you go. That's it. Like that will block. But what I had with I had to use turns there. Right. Uh, theoretically I could just buy a lot of the shite units. And then buy up these. Which would help me speed through the levels a bit more. I get very small margin on the slave trade. I might do this just to annoy Dragon Dennis and whatnot. Yeah, I know, Chieftain units are super cool, super powerful, super strong, super sexy, but I can't afford their fucking ass. That's what I think of your Chieftains. my thoughts and opinions on the chieftain situation. Oh, fuck you. I'm not using chieftains. Like, I'm, I've learnt, I've done enough this level. My brain is hurting. I just want to simplify it and just be done with this. <laughs> this, is got, this is like hurting me now, this level. Like it's legit hurting me. Stop fighting me. At least this looks like a relatively small island. And then I go back down to the bottom bit. I think... Well, until I did that, I was about to say we're pretty much in the clear. And I should be able to just get things done. Man, that quick combat really screwed me over then, didn't it? And no logy. 
Uh, she's never getting the ability she wants, so just give her archery, whatever. I swear this is so rigged. Increases initiative of all creatures. That's actually pretty good, that one. It's almost definitely worth 17,000 gold. It's expensive, but it's practically worth it. You know what's going to happen as well, <laughs> is I'm going to upload this like to YouTube, it's going to be like a 9 hour video, and then like YouTube's going to copyright claim it, or some company's going to like copyright claim one of the songs, there's like a 1 minute song that plays out of the entire 9 hours, and they're going to demonetize the entire video. I'm not even kidding, that sort of stuff happens all the time, so I'm, I'm just basically foreseeing the future. If not, then I will st stack a whole bunch of uh, adverts in this one. Because most people are going to be asleep at this point, so I can be monetizing them being asleep at the computer. Oh, yeah, decent stretching. I'll just put like 50 adverts in the last hour of the video. Bloody hell. Because you pretty much got the point at this point. What's going to happen? Put the part which was demonetized into a separate video. It doesn't quite work that easy. Did she get diplomacy then? No, she didn't get diplomacy. They must have cost me... I must have paid for those, mustn't I? I never... I never pay attention. I always just assume they join. Don't know, actually. That was like 97 that joined. And I still got a fair bit of gold, so... Maybe that didn't cost me. Would Till attack again if I killed that one? Because I could have just farmed Till. Although you can't really farm them. No, never mind, they did attack. They literally just answered my question. As soon as I did that, after all that time. Oh well, I guess this guy's grateful he escaped now. Although the funny thing is he can't land. There can only be one hero. Just... Why do I have to do everything? Just let me have quick combats now. Why are you so stubborn? It's ridiculous. That fear is actually really good. Although he did get his turn back, which is annoying. A little bit cheeky, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's going to kill him. Can't be having that. I was hoping the first aid tent was going to do something, but I've, I've, it's weird because I've respect this stuff. It's up to the flappy boys. Always up to the flappy boys. Gotcha.
see the four leaf clover I could sell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coming in. Let's work out how I lost units this time. coming for you. Please join me, Payakai, in my journey, my adventure. Join me. And we will rule the skies together. Been so good if they join. I could build up my Payokai numbers. Try to regenerate. I don't think I'm going to get enough regens. Oh, she's out of mana, so I can't do that anymore. I suppose I better attack and just lose a couple. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit frisky with the mana. So this this is the island of plentiful. This is the bonus island, really. At this point, I'm pretty cushy now. We're on the home stretch. This is what I needed, but it took like five hours to get to this point of being on the home stretch. <sighs> so much better now. I feel so much better. I miss being strong. I spent the entire game being weak as fuck. Actually, you could just buy those and then sell them. No. I don't... I only got the one base now, so the slave market... It's just as well I did that slave stuff then. That's four. And that's two and two, but yeah. What does spell power do for me again? Does it just increase the power of my shouts? Must do something like that. Does Stranger meet his dragon? I'll be tempted to buy that ring that gives me more initiative because I think that will help a lot in fights. <laughs> On principle, I don't give Slayers a chance. I mean, it's kind of not really... I mean, I know Slayers are good. Like, I've tried them before in previous levels. It's kind of more the case that I can't really fuck about on this level. So I'm not going to take chances. This level is stupidly brutal. So I'm not messing around. Permission to land. Wasn't I supposed to take the guy from here? And get in one of the boats so this guy could land. To be fair, he can just trade that guy now. Swapsy. And then he's done. He's the lesser barbarian. He's only level 7. 
It's trash. I'm asserting my dominance over slayers and chieftains and executioners. I think that's the name of the other one. They hold no weight or power over me. There we go. There we go. It's looking better now, isn't it, people? May as well clear up the rest of this business over here, since it looks like a dead end. Ugh, who cares at this point? You've, you've crushed my soul. I can't really care too much about Ten Centaur anymore. She gets a white yak. Oh, that's cool. Just realise that now. We've got 30% initiative now, suddenly, with those two rings. I'm not going to pursue those, because uh, I'm going to lose, like, 50 Paokaias or something. He's coming back. Take this pirate as plunder. You shall not pass. Fancy. Well, yeah, just low, just seven. I forgot to take out the treasure chest again. So these ones aren't like. I need to upgrade. They're, they're not ranged, which is nice. So they're kind of trash, actually, because they're not ranged. Although they get 100 hit points, which is pretty significant. But they're a high tier unit, so that's not that good. Go on then. Go invisible, you little feckers. Gonna lose a bunch now. Actually, I might be the resin. Hmm. First aid tent. It's not that kind of first aid tent. I can lose one, I think I can survive. At this point, my brain is just like... I assume spell power is still better than knowledge for barbarians, but I'm not 100% sure on it. Really need to upgrade. Oh! Can get a capital, actually. Is it too late? Aren't I just going to basically set sail in a second, anyway? I don't know how much longer I want to wait. Because there's not much left to do on this island. They took him. They took the plunder. Yar. Sent him off to Davy Jones' locker. Take those back so I can just up those. Up the ante. Yeah, I'm actually not. It's almost midnight now for me, so I'm not even. I don't even know if I'm gonna eat. 
I've got dinner, but I just don't even know I'm going to have it. I suppose I can. Jesus Christ. This is... Uh, I don't want to do this again. This is too much. I assume this is like the hardest level, isn't it? This one. This is what I'll be worried about if I do scenarios. This might be the thing that puts me off doing scenarios. Is being stuck on a level. That's like absolutely going to take me freaking forever. Eh, 92 goblins, who cares anymore? As long as it gets the fight done. You redeemed your soul, Logi. It's a way to pester me about customs and waste your. You know your Twitch points. Save and continue tomorrow. I can't. It has to be done in one go. Besides, I'm like 80% of the way done now. Maybe even 85%, to be honest. Hang on a second. Before I do that, just in case there's like a trading post on this island. Doesn't look like it. How the tribal campaign treating me? It's treating me like shit. Got no respect for my uh, my sanity. So we managed to build up a lot of those centaurs over time, which has definitely paid off at this point, as you can see. There are little skeletal arches. Alright, we've got like every buff under the sun now. Can't ask for much more than that. I'll just get an upgrade for those Cyclopses. Actually, have I upgraded the Paikai? Paikai! I think I might have done. He's taking all my resources, so I'm no longer getting resources at the bottom either. Where are we? <laughs> No, they're just still wyverns. Oh my god. They're just still... Still! Wyverns. I can't even afford to upgrade. Hang on a second, I gotta sell those artifacts. Redemption. Give me the money. Give me back my son. Give me the money. Give me back my son. My son, my son, my son. Get my, my son. I need 1500 for that. That's not even worth it. If it gave me more, then I'd be tempted. Huzzah. Alright. Let's do this. God. May as well send him off on a boat. So he can be like exploring the seas ahead of time. Wait, hang on a second. How do I get over there? Have I got to go through the whirlpool multiple times or something? Oh, you go all the way around, do you? No. I think it's blocked. Hmm. I'm not even sure how I get over there. supposed to summon ship where oh. Uh, oh I see it wouldn't let me use the summon ship thing earlier so I thought that I saw took that out of the equation oh it only needs 21,000 gold and then I can do that Oh, this game is beautiful, isn't it? Look, look, look how nice it is. 2006. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Just me and the boys. Me and the Paokai boys. Fuck. I have to wait another turn. Oh, I could sacrifice those. Although they are cast, I can sacrifice some of them. There you go. There's your filthy pay, okay? Next level is going to be like one hour and 30 minutes. Oh my god. I didn't learn the things because I haven't got the war cry business yet. I should do that for her before I go off. She's level 18. She's not level 20 though. Feels bad. So he's going to nick that one. So if I buy another boat just to be on the safe side. Never mind. You can't. Oh. Okay. <sighs> oh, they're coming back. They see there's a weakness. They smell it. Can't afford this. I gotta wait for the resources to come back. But the resources don't come back because I traded. Well, some of them are at least. Thank God. I think. Are they really trying this hard to stop me from talking to the other chieftains? Seems a bit overkill. I'm pretty sure that's just going to summon this boat. Yep. We may as well have a look around. Whilst I'm waiting. This level could be like an entire campaign. You know how like in the original Heroes of Might Magic 5 levels, they reuse the same sort of areas a couple of times over? He's not called Tengle. I don't know why you keep calling this guy Tengle. You may as well start calling him Mr. Jengles. I'm just going to wait around a bit for a week or so. I think I need like eight on these resources. Just one more hour. I think it'll be less than an hour. But not far off it. Just it has to be, because at this point, man. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to export this to YouTube, considering how long this has gone on for. I hope there's no, like, extra stuff for me to have to do. Like, just get straight to the end now. No dicking about. Oh, it's five. And eight. On the ore. He's two lan. Tau lan. Tau lane. You've gone and upset purple now. 
He's going to kill me before I can get my stuff. Town portal would have been bloody nice, but... I mean, it doesn't let you learn it anyway. In fact, getting that one probably wasn't necessary, because it's not going to give me this. It says it's forbidden. But I don't know if she gets to keep it for, like, the next level. That's what I was wondering, but I doubt it. Anyway, Pakai. Alright, that's all the exploring you're going to do. Actually, she can summon another boat herself. Good job, dragon. Stranger meet his dragon. Well, at least I'm tired. I don't normally get that tired. Sometimes it takes me a while to sleep. Like, I want to sleep, but I just don't always sleep. I just lie there in bed. Ah, there we go. Is there anything up at the top here? Because my OCD almost makes me want to go up there. Alright, that's it. It's quicker to just do it than to ask. There's going to be nothing there. We know there's nothing here. Because I, I took that earlier. There's nothing at top. I feel like even though you're telling me there's nothing at top, I kind of need to see. Like I won't be happy. Until I... Realized in my own disappointment. The game suddenly looks quite different when you suddenly do that. Looks like you just entered a different genre. Wow, they really are going to land and start taking your stuff. I don't know. I suppose they're supposed to do that. Because Teal took my stuff, so why shouldn't Purple take my stuff? Why don't you guys tell me there was nothing at the top? Just wasted all that time going up there now. Hmm. Wait, I should be wearing that. The other heroes can't be sh bothered to do anything. They see purple coming, they're just like, yeah. Uh, I didn't know there was an underground part of this level, but that well, doesn't you surprise me. Enough, Gyro, thank you. There's nothing at the top. Oh, it's a bit late now, isn't it, Gyro? Well done. Uh, at least thanks for letting me know. Better late than never. This whole map is designed to make you go insane. It's actually a really good map. It's just not a very good map to try to do in one go. Unless you start it at the very start of your day. Because believe it or not, I do actually like taking some time off to eat and think about sleeping. I did all the sheets in that earlier today, so my bed's not even made. I'm going to have to make the sheets up on my bed as well. I did the hoovering, dusting, wash the sheets, put the sheets outside. They got a nice air blow. Taking the sheets inside, they're in the airing cupboard. Oh, he's coming for me. Nothing of value. Just like me. I've lost all semblance of any value. Do you think there's anything over here? I'm going to swim over there. Looks like a dead end, to be honest. This is where you land, up here. I just realised that now. Just think about sleep. 
that's what I did when I did the 55 hour stream. I just thought about it. I never did it. Man, these computers are such map hackers. They're not even subtle. Okay, that is officially a dead end now. My OCD can be satisfied with that. I wonder if the computer can catch up with me now. Imagine if I actually still can't beat this level. After all of this. I don't know, if this gets copyrighted, I'm just going to have to accept it, I think. I can't... It's too long to edit and stuff like that. That's the problem. The longer the videos, the harder it is to fight versus that stuff. Because you can't really, like, cut those bits out very easily. Without lots of rendering and processing and tedious... Jiggery-pokery. Oh no, Jai. Some people do. Uh, don't I just talk to Teal? And he's going to be like, yeah, we're going to stop attacking you. We're going to be like, yeah, we're going to join you. Yeah. Or maybe he's the one guy that doesn't join you because he's like been fighting me this whole time. So you need to put him in his place. Oh my god, he's taken over so much of the map. Look how long he's taken. Come on, mate. I've been that this long enough. Fuck, you know. So, yeah, he's got to be the chieftain. All right, let's do some exploring. That's Dora the Explorer, this business. Don't care about that. Sacrifice? No. Oh. Sure. I'm just gonna ex Oh, there's a trading post. Could have done with that earlier. What does that do? Various bonuses. Ah, oh, there's a buff down here. Where's that portal? That portal goes up here, does it? No? It's a two-way portal. Come on, Teal. Can't make me not go into that portal. Hey, ugly shaman! Go cast spells someplace else. Only bones we need are bones of dead enemies. Or maybe a roasted chicken. Shut up, Gork. Gork only thinks of eating. Yeah, shaman. Take your stupid bones and big dumb orcs and leave. Or we make stew with your sprakas. Stupid Gork. Shaman female, where you get Sprakas? Sprakas means balls or something, doesn't it? We should teach this sassy shaman lesson in manners. How about we set her bones on fire? Damn. 
Eh, I don't know. Portal to victory. Ah, uh, that's it. It just gives you a nice view. Doesn't do anything else. That is it now. There's nothing else. Oh god, there's nothing else. I pray to the gods I can just kill them now. <laughs> I mean, we've we've we don't we haven't concluded it, but we can, through rigorous analysis, make a healthy assumption that Cyclopses probably have at least a fifteen-inch cock. As a scientific endeavor, I would make that educated guess. <laughs> what you question it? How do you question it? <laughs> you never see a female Cyclops because the male Cyclops kill them in the mating ritual. Or they die after giving birth because of the post-traumatic stress of the sexual encounter. Ah, gotta get that buff. I think she'll get so much experience from the fight anyway, she'll probably get level 20 or near level 20. So I think we can take the safer road and get the items that are good. Certainly doesn't need that anymore. I don't know that's important. I think it's important for later, but not necessarily this fight. I am still streaming Doom. It had to happen, didn't it? We had that level ages ago in Heroes of Might Magic 5 base game. That took like five to six hours. It was only inevitable I was going to get another one. I mean, I did recently have like a kind of five hour level, but... It had to happen. Okay. Can we kill this without losing too much? Oh, sacrifice goblins, look at that. And they got chain lightning. But how do they cast that? It needs 16 mana. Oh, they sacrifice goblins to gain mana. It's a handy position of those goblins. I 
mean, the orcs would just get destroyed by the other races, wouldn't they? The other races of, like, Armageddon, Frenzy and stuff like that. The orcs just ain't cut out for this business. There's your slayers. That's how good your slayers are. Right there. It's a goblin's life to be bullied. I want to use these psychos. There we go, finally. But I didn't want to put them out there just so that they can get hit. Oh wow. Paokai, look at that. Probably worth attacking that. Oh, okay, maybe not. The AT was more of the goblins. I thought that was a lot of damage, wasn't it? <laughs> Clever girl. Oh my god, that team kill, holy shit. These centaurs certainly got destroyed, didn't they? Fucking bro, bra! The untamed cyclops suck. <laughs> They're just too dangerous to have. I got too many units that are big. You got these giant centaurs. You got these. They're just, they're just not right. If you're using only cyclops, then maybe, but. If you've got like an actual army, I just don't, I don't see how they're better. Sure, they can, if they're lucky, hit the enemy, they can do like, you know, some nice splash damage. But is it really worth the risk of them like team killing everything you've got accidentally? And yeah, you can try to place your units in such a fashion that that doesn't happen, but you ain't going to be able to guarantee it. You better believe that sooner or later those Cyclops, one way or another, are going to find a way to kill half your army. Even if you're very careful with how you position. Send him over to the Cyclops. Get some dagger work in here. Oh, my Payakai! Oh. He managed to hide from the Cyclops. I don't know, do you? Do you? I'll save the mana. I've already burnt a lot. Really? You're that fast? I'm impressed. In fact, these guys aren't even fast enough to catch up with you from that point.
God damn. He's positioned himself so I can't hit him with the Cyclops again now. God damn. You are really dragging this shit out, aren't you? Your friend's birthday today would make his day if you could say happy birthday to him. Yeah, no, Pierre, that's not gonna happen. Oh, <sighs> all right. Rude orcs will spend today praying to a bucket. It will be easy to go into Batal's town now. Well, it better be, because if it ain't... I actually want to see if there's anything to get first. Oh, right, thank God. Yeah, no, that, that's... Oh. So it's the border guards. I thought that was a quite a tough fight, but I thought maybe you can do it without losing too much, and then the base is going to be hard. Ah, oh, there it is. Such relief. Find any more permanent buffs before I go off? Ah, I could go back and do this all over again. I mean, I didn't get level 20. Oh, no, I did get level 20. Okay, that's good enough. Ben Dover doesn't work because Ben Dover was the name of my math teacher. Like, literally. That was his name. Do not cite the, uh, the old magician's code to me. I was born in times where this had occurred. Although, to be fair, that is a pretty unusual name. My math teacher, well, he was a... Uh, I, uh, I shouldn't... Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? But he had slicked black hair that was combed over. Not much of it. it looked a little sleazy. At least that's how I think I remember it. But it was many years ago now at this point. All right, let's get this done. Shaman Kujin, go! We not follow Kurok Khan. Our shaman sees bad future for orcs. We wait, new Khan. Ah, now I understand why you fight us. But it is better to talk first, Chief Batal. Kurok died freeing slaves. Gotai is our new Khan. Gotai. New Khan? Hmm. Was he shaman? If true, then we follow Gotai. Go with Kujin. And I want to see your shaman. I need to teach her how to read bones better. But I also see the future. It tells me we will have a big celebration. But you've got like a Cyclops eye at the end of that stuff. Thank you, Mother Earth. Oh. It is done. Now the tribes follow Gotai. He will be a great Khan. God, there you go. Right. Honestly, I don't think Gotai should be the leader anymore. I think she should. This is like, this is like part of history, to be honest. Ten hours, twenty hours, twenty ten hour stream. Uh, it's part of history. Is there are literally many women that actually had contributed quite a lot to humanity scientifically and whatnot, but they wouldn't get recognized because it wasn't the thing to do to recognize women back in those days and stuff like that. You feel like she's kind of done the hard bloody work. Like, Gotai probably has no idea how much work she's done. <laughs> Oof. Well, there we have it. Finally, it's over. Thank you, Cryville. Thanks for watching if you're at this point. 
make sure to thumbs up twitch.tv slash witty drop a like and a subscription to help support the channel bye bye